try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never find somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me Tossed me like a stone You swept me off my feet I can feel my bones I still count the days You swept me off my feet I keep going high, she keeps going low Something feels wrong right now I know Something feels wrong you don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire I won't wait for you, cause you keep telling lies I keep going high, she keep going low At the end of the day, she's gone low You don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire And you keep telling lies You play me like a game Something feels wrong right now, I know Something feels wrong You don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire I won't wait for you, cause you keep telling lies I keep going high, she keeps going low
Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. to be someone else I would and let go of you mm -hmm. I know that I'm obvious fuck it I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Hello, Chato. It's Saturday, and welcome to an African adventure. Coming up today on an African adventure, we start the adventure. Eric Sandberg is the manager, of course, that you guys chose on Thursday's stream. He will be taking us on a journey from the very bottom to the very top of African football. So I hope you're as excited as me because so many things can happen right now we are in an incredible position to make this whatever the hell we want and i'm extremely excited Ooh, come on oh thank you yeah hopefully the intro was good enough i feel like uh it was it's a solid one has to be said i'm pretty pleased with that one so let's turn that down a little bit let's start in Djibouti. so that's a question we do actually need to discuss probably the biggest question on the entire plate so is that not wearing a dashiki <laughs> sandy with glasses i feel like if he was a manager um he had to have glasses because, you know, all managers have glasses. This is my rules. Misplayed Ethiopia. Oh, shit. Did I really? That's a new... F I could probably re-render that in fairness. So that shouldn't be too bad. But thank you for letting me know. I'll have to get him check. Oh, God, Lord. Yeah, M managed to uh, pick a another banger as per. Hey, I put a vote out. People pick Sandy. That's how it went. I I I'm a man of democracy, my friends. 
Oh, so there's a few cases. Right, let me just give you a little rundown of what the situation is. So I'll show you the leagues we've got switched on first, because I feel like this is one of the questions we're going to get a lot. Firstly, morning, everybody. I hope you're all brilliant. Uh, if, if this is the first room of mine you're joining, welcome. Uh, my name's Matt. You probably already know that, but maybe not. Uh, we're going to play some Football Manager, but these are the leagues we have currently loaded. So, Anger, what well, you can see basically on the screen, there are a few exceptions of leagues I did not switch on. The main reason for that was certain countries do not send any teams to the African continental competitions. So uh, Eritrea sadly doesn't. Uh, Guinea-Bissau doesn't. Guinea does, but not Guinea-Bissau. Uh, there's a couple more as well whose names have escaped me. But basically, any, team, any ones that you see missing from here are not because I couldn't find databases. It's because it would have been... There's no, like, progression in those ones, sadly. So I felt like it'd be better if we just kind of went with what we had. You can't see the player count, but it's 82,000. At least 40,000 of those are regens as well. Arab Champions League switched on also. No, because uh, we're not managing in the Middle East. We're managing specifically in the... Um, on the African continent, essentially. Uh, although Egypt, I realize, is like... Yeah. Uh, Twazak, thank you for the four, 15 months. Bloody hell. Holy shit. Oh... I am actually, Mikey, yeah. I, I, I got noted for qualification last night. Quali uh, yeah, qualified last night. I was like, what's going on? But there we go. Oh, no no chance. Mato, are you excited for uh, Sprint? That is weird, actually, yeah. It should be. It's good uh, you came in summer. In winter, you can get there. No, no, there is. I think what it is, is it's because... Um, so it is there, don't worry. It's just for some reason this screen is glitching out a little bit. You can see that the actual Chaddy and Premier League is there. Or is that like a real life thing, potentially? Because if that's the case, we have a database for it, essentially. Turgeon, wow, 1,500 bits. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Turgeon, for the 1,500 bits. That's mad. Oh, Smithy. Oh, I didn't see that. Sorry, Smithy. Thank you for the five months, man. That just sort of sneaked in there. Oh, by the way, chat, if you do want to copy this... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do you know if there's a train uh, coming anytime soon? Oh, yes, yeah, very soon. Bam, you they can. Building it now. You actually can. Oh, so that is the database with the save file from right now. As a, literally on this exact day. So you can actually play along as Eric or as your own manager if you want to. I know, professional. You, oh, you should see some of the commands I've got, chat. Commands for days. JGC, thank you for the gifted sub to uh, Walt Mc... Walt... Hey, why is this struggling? Walt McConville, thank you. That's incredible. And Well McGarnagle with the four months in there as well. Holy shit. Whew. Bloody hell. I know, what's all this professional stuff? So yeah, that's all the leagues we got loaded. Anything that doesn't show up here, don't worry. They are there. I've checked. Uh, Bart Simeon with the 16 months as well. Hello all. Says months let's go. Not been able to watch the week the stream due to be in the peace but from so when to well in the end and time for who cast to a yes on. Oh. Pochon. Thank you. Thank oh my god, Dazza. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Bloody hell. Yeah, so my manager, I'll show you the manager again. Um, he has the lowest possible everything. So reputation, basically the lowest badge is no nothing, no nothing, essentially. I put it on tactics, that which you can do, essentially. Uh, no, no, that's uh, a French accent. Uh, he's our he's our TTS man. His name is Mathieu. So yeah, you can get the uh, save file there. We've also got a spreadsheet which shows which teams we can and can't manage. And I can't actually remember the command for that one. M will know. Dazza, thank you, man, for the five gifted. That's outrageously kind of you, sir. Let's get some presents for Dazza. If you do get a uh, a gifted sub from Dazza, then do be do be sure to thank him. Uh, that's incredibly generous of you, mate. Right. So we have a big decision, mate. It might not actually be that bad. He he made the. Uh, it's not that bad because... Actually, we're going to find out. It does still run quite slowly. So use the save at your own risk. <laughs> Adaptability. I didn't really think about it at the time, if I'm honest. <laughs> Thomas Hallam. Uh, ooh, hang on. Uh, Galvolution and OLLFC. Thank you for the follows, guys. Leak for Oh, my God. Yeah, have you guys seen those? It's mad. Thank you, Basil, for the 100 bits. Don't worry, guys. We will get properly started in a sec. It's always a bit mad at the start of streams, particularly when starting new saves. Emma's struggling. <laughs> I think it's OTI teams or something. Jeep now. A hype Jeep. You're right. I guess we must be. It's better than a safari bus. Jeeps are way cooler. So, oh, this isn't where I park my car. one of the problems... Tom Mulligan, thank you for the follow. One of the problems we have... There you go. Toads has got it. That's the new spreadsheet. Hopefully that should work. So that should show you all the teams that are currently off the list. We'll be updating it as we go along. I'm the Pope. One of the problems Where with managing in nations or leagues that have very low rep in general is that even with our limited coaching badges, we can get most of the jobs on the cards. Lucas, thank you for the follow as well. And the problem with that is we could jump into pretty good jobs even with our current setup. So one of the rules I think that we were going to implement was to sort of 
stagger it. So we're only allowed to go into like certain leagues in each jump. So we were going to use like FIFA ranking for that. So I don't know. The question is, which chunk do we go for first? Uh, yeah. How to join the save. Uh, well, you can't join the save, but you can oh, download the save and play it yourself oh if you God. want to, Danielson. Uh, that will be on exclamation mark save file and you'll be able to get it. And thank you for the follow as well, my friend. Hello, Beric. Tier system, sort of. So like what I'll show you, what I mean, I'll show you what I mean. So if I just go to here and look on the world rankings. So one of the things we were going to do, I wonder if you could, oh, you can filter it by continent. Beautiful. So what we were thinking about doing was having it so that each step of the save, we sort of select a group of these nations and then can only manage in a club in one of those for the first step. And that way we can work ourselves up. But the question is, uh, there is probably going to be bugs. Honestly, shouldn't it be league rep? Uh, you're probably not wrong, but actually, that's, yeah, we could do that too, actually. Uh, good shout. That would make more sense. So let's go Africa. There are going to be bugs. That just is in an inevitability, sadly, um, because it's a weird save. There's a couple of things I know about. They're not game breaking, so it's not an issue. Certain leagues don't track clean sheet stats properly. Don't know why. Really weird. But that's the only thing I've noticed that's anything that's like kind of dodgy. Um, so for one other thing you'll notice here is when it says qualification places, it says one place when it should be two and two here as well. But don't worry, they do actually get to. For some reason, this screen is bugged out too. And it's bugged out on my OTI save too. So I don't know what's up with that, but that should be fine um, because this is how they do the coefficient rankings and stuff. So we're going to go to league rep. Where is league rep? Is it in here? Here we go. The problem with this is there's more of them then. And some of these aren't manageable. <laughs> That's why I was just going to do it by like national team because not a lot of these leagues are actually clickable or manageable and it makes it harder to actually put the yes, whoa <laughs> Regan booty to Djibouti. Can we high get Regan booty to Djibouti? <laughs> Sadly, we can't. Uh, because in order to get Regan booty, I would have had to turn on loads of extra leagues, annoyingly. Because you can't just turn on a lower league in England. You'd have to turn on all the ones above it as well. Yeah, there is a Europa League in Africa. It's called the Confederation Cup. Not Confederations, Confederation. Could do a national coefficient ranking. Uh, so, like this, you mean? The problem is... Actually, that's not a bad shout. So you'll notice that clubs that are excluded, uh, Sierra Leone, Reunion, these clubs... Uh, sorry, these nations here uh, do not send teams to the continental competitions. Hello. You're right. Oh, coffee's on the way, chat. You'd love to see it. Sorry? Hmm? I'm fine with both. <laughs> Uh, no, I set my manager to know exactly what he know in the game. So he knows English because uh, being Norwegian, he was fluent. So no, he doesn't know French. He'll have to pick it up along the way. Thank you very much for the hype train, my friends. Or the hype jeep, I guess, in this case. So, yes, yeah, so you'll notice anyone down here. Um, these ones, though, they do still get points. It's just these ones down here cannot get points. So Eritrea, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, Sierra Leone. Those are the ones that cannot ever gain points, essentially. Tunisia, sick. Well, we're certainly going to end up in Tunisia at some point. Football is a universal language. Yep, damn right. The, the, the heap jeep. <laughs> Make it uh, modify something in that challenge. What do you mean, bang average? We're, we're literally in the save. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> like, we, we are actually playing the save currently. I could do with some coffee too. Roma top looks expensive. <laughs> Does anyone want to tell him? <laughs> uh, team illegal ready. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the point. Um... <laughs> Unless that was an incredibly good joke, Fritz, in which case, fair play. So basically, this is a fake rubber shot I bought 18 years ago on a market in Italy when I was 13. <laughs> still fits. Still fits. Ditch the boys at Guam. I know. Useless, mate. Useless. So, yeah. The question then becomes, what do we put in our first sort of uh, set of... Oh, I know. Right, in that case, even better. That was some top quality banter. And it fits. Oh, yes. So, I guess Djibouti has to be the first one that is actually, like, they do send clubs to the competitions, uh, as you can see here. So, you know, they're the last one, but they are the ones that, the first one of the teams that actually send any. <clears throat> These five don't. Or they certainly won't in this save. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sure about that bang average, but I have prepared the save already. Um, like, that's, we have been planning this for a while. Uh, IDVS, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you, man. That's super nice. Ooh, thank you, man. Uh, so, what, by the way, I'm not asking you to pick a league. I'm asking you to pick a section. Like, we're doing it in chunks to avoid progressing too quickly. 
So are we saying bottom five, bottom 10? Because that would give us 50... There's 51 teams, basically. Or 51 countries. Oh, you can't see. Shit, sorry, my bad. Right, so here you go. So the bottom one is Djibouti. That's the very bottom. All of these ones are unmanageable. But everywhere from here up is. <laughs> it does a bit, Tom, yeah. <laughs> Azais, thank you for the 14 months as well, man. <laughs> I've just had to add the permitted term look like the white girl to the Twitch chat. Why was that even a... <laughs> oh, dear. So there's a few leagues. Some of them have got more leagues than others. Yeah, bottom 10, maybe? Because then it's like steps of five, and we could always move around between them, couldn't we? No, the thing is, I didn't webfoot, and that's why I find it weird that it still fits. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Silveretta, I like that. So we start with bigger chunks, because it gives us more room to roam. But then as we grow further up, we could reduce the chunks. And bear in mind, we wouldn't have to go each chunk each time. We could move around all over the place. Smile is the nicest time. Yeah, it's fine. We could we get our own pirate ship, chap. It'll be great. Hmm. Yeah, no, I like that idea, Silveretta. So we'll do 10 for now. So bottom 10 is Djibouti, Saltome, Principe. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Senegal's so low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. So it's Mauritius downwards. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of these because believe me, we're going to need to refer to this in a second. Uh, some of you may want to do the same thing, if I'm honest, because... I'm going to filter it on the uh, job search page by just these countries. That way we don't end up going all over the place, essentially. Reduce the chunks. <laughs> You've got to reduce the chunks, chat. It's the rules. Oh, bored Twitter. Oh, yes, I'm going for it. Another one? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I was worried about this. <sighs> Twitch banning the word Niger. It's literally a country, Twitch. I realize there's issues here, but for crying out loud. Like, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Imagine Mar Mauritius would be fun, yeah. We are the captain now. <laughs> right, let's um take that knowledge over here and go to the job center. I'll just minimize this massively. And then I can refer to this little window that will... Right, so let's filter these jobs because there's a lot of them. So you'll notice I've simmed to the 1st of January. I always do it because it freshes the jobs up a little bit. Zanzibar be cool. Right, okay. So what have we got? We want... Wow. Get rid of that. And we'll just turn on managers. We don't want international. We only want clubs. And I'm going to turn these all off and go, go from there. Uh, I didn't only FM, but I might be able to make one anyway for you. <laughs> this is Nigel. Should we actually just do that? <laughs> just call it Nigel now or Nigel. Right. Uh, Mauritius. Right, I'm just going to start turning some of these ones on so we can give ourselves an idea. So Mauritius, any job? Fun fact. <gasps> yes. Well, Namibia. Is just two blocks from here. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Uh... Sea Church, that's very nice of you, man. They really are even... Oh, my God. Twitch, for crying out loud. They're literally blocking words that aren't even similar to it. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, so we want Niger. Oh, wait, hang on. Divisions is not important. We want countries. This might take a sec to just turn all these off, chat. <laughs> oh, you should see... I found some incredible names last night, right? There's a team called... Crystal Palace that plays in Ghana, who use essentially the Liverpool badge with changed colours. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so Zanzibar, they're on there. Uh, what else we got? So it's going to take me a second chat just to pick all these off because they're not in alphabetical order on this thing at all. So South Sudan. Is that both Sudans, in fact? No, South Sudan. Yep. Just let me know if I've missed any. Uh, we've got Somalia. Cool, cool, cool. I love that Somalia are like, yeah, sure, send your teams in. Lovely stuff. Seychelles, Senegal, Niger. We did Niger, didn't we? No, we didn't do Niger. Okay, there we go. There's Niger, Namibia. Bam, bam. And Mauritius, which we did. Have I missed any? Oh, Djibouti. And so Tommy and Principe. There we go. And there's Djibouti. <laughs> Djibouti's sounding good though, isn't it? Right. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Perfect. Bit of a janky method, but we got there in the end. Morocco. Morocco is much, much higher up than that. Chicken Inn are from Zimbabwe, from what I remember. Hey, Jota. Welcome aboard, man. Got the powers of center. I know. They've got two whole countries. Is this going to remember our filters, is my question. <laughs> so, there is some excellent... Did you know there's a team in um, the Nigerian second division called Fame Academy? 
If there isn't a guy there called Lamar, I'm going to be pissed. So, these are our Revengers, chat. Revengers. Revengers Seychellois. We've got Black Sailors. That's that's a brilliant name. Kipanga Polisi. I wonder what they are. Uh, Gudeli. Raptor. Rainbow. I'd like to go to club for... Where do I get all these leaks? So, basically, this is mostly from Dave the Editor. No, sorry. I've used a combination of Riddler's databases from the Steam Workshop and Dave the Editor's databases. Essentially, some had some in leagues and some didn't. So, I've kind of mixed it together and there's a couple that had better down... Better, like, depth, essentially. Up the Dave and up the Riddler. Hell yes. So, as I said, there's going to be some bugs, but nothing I've seen is game-breaking so far. So, I guess the question really is apply for everything, right? And see what happens. That seems to be the, the best plan right now, I guess. Just apply for everything and have a good time. Ideally, I want to move to a club that actually has a badge. The main reason for that is just because it'll make it easy for me to make, like, thumbnails and shit for it. 50-50 <laughs> uh, We can't sign Regan. I uh, wish we could. Yeah, 6th of September, 11 arrows. There's a lot of teams in it. Giska Africa is a great name too. Hard Rock. Hard Rock Zanzibar, boys. Right, let's apply all. Some of them we won't actually be able to... Yeah, so certain ones we won't be able to apply for uh, because, like, they... Uh, oh, I love Timo's databases. I adore them, but as far as I know, he stopped making them, uh, which is a massive shame. I used to use his stuff, like, religiously. So there's certain clubs that we might not be able to get managers for because, you know, they do that thing where they're already in the middle of pointing, and I'm kind of guessing here that we might not be able to get a job in Zanzibar at all. But we'll see. There's bound to be a little... What does... Uh, let's see. Which one are we looking at? Or oh, this one. It's that... <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know, Mikey. I guess it stands for UDAPB. <laughs> Hard Rock Zanzibar sounds like a cafe I'd like to visit. Old Serena in the Seychelles. It's a big derby. It means eagle. Oh, lovely stuff. I'm glad we're going to need a lot of that kind of knowledge in here. End up at Rainbow. Needs to... <laughs> we'll have to get Bungle and George in there as well, Plateau. Right, okay. Next part. Now, you know with me and Journeyman saves, I never take the first... Uh, first job that comes along off a job we have to get <laughs> oh no well so what i do is we'll do as many job interviews as we want really a any clubs we look that seem kind of interesting we'll take or not take but have a look at and then because you can delay for two weeks unless you're hoffenheim for whatever reason prefer my version <laughs> unlucky dolphins always play bongos they do they do it's just the rules yeah it was lordy that indeed sung hard rock zanzibar <laughs> eagles versus police is a hell of a derby mate okay so they've got our application we'll keep checking in there's some just wonderful, wonderful team names, though. The, the ones that stood out to me that I saw was Fame Academy, and particularly that team called Crystal Palace with a K. In fact, I'm going to show you. Tell me I'm wrong. Right, firstly, they're called Crystal Palace. That, I'm sorry, that is the Liverpool badge. They've just changed the colours on it and added their own text, right? I'm not, like, imagining things yet. I realise it's quite small, but that is definitely the Liverpool badge, right? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> We'll just make it yellow. It's fine. They'll never know. African team names are a wonderful thing. And don't worry, you might look at that and go, shit, they don't have any players? Wrong. They do. Oh. When mum says we have Liverpool at home, is that a porcupine in the middle? Do you know what? It may as well be. I can't wait. My favourite thing about Journeyman Saves is just the complete randomness of where we could end up here. Like, by the end of the day, we could be managing in Djibouti. It's, it's a glorious time to be alive. Change my vote to rainbow. <laughs> we have to get the job offers first. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, I've done as much testing as I can with this database. So I've looked through to make sure all the teams qualify for the correct, like, international competitions and stuff like that. I've looked to make sure most of the leagues actually work and function. Like I said, a few things I've noticed that are a little bit broken is certain leagues have the clean sheet issue. And yeah, I think there's some that won't appoint managers properly. Zanzibar does seem to be a bit like that, sadly. But it's just things that I can't personally fix. And, you know, with when you're managing, when you're doing a save that has so many extended data, the only real database we have is the South Africa one, which is in the base game. Everything else is, addi is additional, essentially. Oh, yeah, homeboys are cool. Right, so they're getting a lots of jobs. Ah, right, we could get some more here, potentially. Steg Lenny, thank you for the follow, man. Right, let me just go back to the job center and just see if... No, no, there aren't any more. Because obviously these job adverts could be for club, could be for leagues that we're not looking in right now. So we've got to remember that. God, I don't know the meaning of copyright. Apparently not. Appar I looked up on last night because I was curious. Apparently, they have actually changed both their name and their badge since then, in fairness to them. So we'll give them that. Claytoification. Thank you for the follow, man. 
which is a place, Kakamega. Cool. Oh, Angelo, you have mad knowledge, my friend. I'm looking forward to you explaining everything about wherever we go next. Oh, we're definitely going to be doing that. So, yeah, if we get more than one offer, we'll do a, uh, a chat vote. That's usually the plan in these sort of situations. Crystal Palace care much. Exactly. I don't think they're going to get much out of the deal. <laughs> I just liked that it was... They're called Crystal Palace, but they use a Liverpool badge. I <laughs> just really enjoyed that. They've changed their name to something completely different. I think it's called King's Palace FC now. But obviously, some bits are a bit out of shape. Hell yeah, Stingsdale. That's awesome, man. Congratulations, buddy. Whoa. Need to sponsor them. <laughs> Just put the Crystal Palace badge in the middle of the kit. Oh, there's loads of stuff like that. It's like in South America, there's a lot of teams with the same names. There's a lot of like Benficas and stuff in South America. And Okay, so I'll just keep checking in on here in case there's anything. We'll know that if there's a new job because it'll pop up and say apply, basically. Um, but right now, it's uh, looking like, yeah, interesting. So it looks like Zanzibar is just kind of a bit buggered at the moment, which is a shame because Black Sailors is a cool team name. But South Sudan seems to be some options there. Somalia. Seychelles Noir. Re Revengers is a fun one, to be honest. There's a Boca Juniors in Gibraltar. I'm liking the look of Revengers at the moment. I've got to be honest. What is that badge? Oh my god, look! It's got like a fist on it grabbing what looks like a tribal tattoo. <laughs> Some guy came called Brian just went over there and pissed off the entire town. But he had tribal tats and they were like, nah, nah, mate. Come on. That's what it is. It's all an, eff it's an effigy to Brian. Oh. Also, um... For those of you that maybe uh, aren't going to be able to follow along all the time, we do have a second channel where I upload all the VODs. They're going to be coming out a lot quicker this time. So I found a way that I can set them so that they should be able to go out every day after the day after the stream every single time, basically. Do you want some malaria? I'd rather not, if I'm honest. It's right. Eric's got his jabs. It's all good. In fact, he's even taken some stuff with him because he's going to be uh, doing a bit of aid work while he's out there. Oh, a Dundee United in Nigeria. I mean... Do you know what? This is the thing, Kurdish, right? I wouldn't even put it past it. I wouldn't even put it past this save. Let's see, right? That's loads of teams getting managers and stuff. Any more jobs for us, potentially? No. Bugs are free. Yeah. Thor up front. It's going to be great when we have to avenge people after every loss that we take. That's going to be excellent news as well. Hang on. Dundee United is an insult in Nigeria. I must know. What? Nah. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I assume there are, but there's only two jobs available at the moment. Uh, I'm guessing the rest of the Somali Premier League teams are currently. So there's Horseed, Mogadishu City Club. Uh, I don't know where most of the clubs are based, to be fair. So most nations, we've only got one league. Some of them, we've got two. There's two or three that have three leagues too, which is pretty sick. Okay, recommended job availabilities. But those are in leagues that we're not looking at right now, aren't they? Yeah, it's fine. We'll ignore those. Normally, I would just apply, but obviously. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're such a Dundee United. Bloody hell. <laughs> Trump's assigned Elvis? Wow. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh -huh, I guess. Is this where we're in Nigeria? Because the Dundee fan went over and told everyone it's a bad... <laughs> oh, that, that's incredible. I did not know that. <laughs> Somali is the African Norway. Yes. It'll be uploaded to Straight Red Card. Yeah. But it will be the day after every time now um hopefully anyway basically it can't be straight away because of the twitch contract i have but before it was just a pain in the ass but i found a way to make it quicker so that should happen so i'll just show you the manager profile again in case you uh missed out on that earlier basically it's as blank as possible so that is one of the downsides of doing it this way quimby but i feel like we maybe could open that up when we're a little bit further up perhaps the, the reason i wanted to do it like this as well is because it's kind of like jumping... It's kind of like doing a European journeyman save and then jumping into the French third division. I like... The reason I like doing journeyman saves is because you get to see the road less travelled a bit in complete nations that perhaps aren't quite as uh, popular to manage in. So I think that's why I quite like doing it like this. So we get to do like... um, Like, we get to manage in Djibouti, potentially, or Seychellois and so on. I just like saying Seychellois, to be honest. It's it's not even the name of the country. That's the name... That's the demonym for people who live there, Matt. I still like saying it, though. You can't take that away from me. Have they got any plans to offer us a job at all? <laughs> like, they don't seem particularly hungry to actually offer us a job interview yet. I feel like we should have had one by now, right? Still a little bit. Yeah, I, I bet there's a few of them, to be fair. Grandma from Dundee. Started a club that played in Dundee United's colours in South Africa. Really? 
over oh, look, 600 dance wow. and I am programmed to get freaky. <laughs> yeah, watch the save be. We can't get a job. <laughs> JPM, thank you for the follow, man. Yeah, that's true. He's a very fair-skinned individual, is Eric Sandberg. Thank you, Thomas. I'll take that. I've always wanted to be a rogue. Yeah, you know, everybody loves a bit of demonym chat on a Saturday morning. It's just what we're here for, to be honest. It might be that some of these are in the off-season, potentially. So that's maybe what it is. Hotter or Hotter, thank you for the follow, man. And JPM. Oh, this and Fancel. My car. Did the music just completely die, or is it just in between songs? That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if Mwanza was sat by Chibishi. I want a job. Come on. I tell the swamp donkey to sack it before I give it a tonk in its raisman's entrance. D A F G Jizzlebeck, thank you for the follow, man. This is, um. Yeah, we finally got our job 90 years in. What is going on? They're just like, nope. Yeah, that might be what it is, potentially. There's still a lot that run um, through the summer, through the normal leagues as well, actually. I was surprised. Hey, Van. Yeah, I, I think I'm over... <laughs> the one thing I didn't actually check was how easy it would be to get a job offer, but I just figured, you know, if it's easy to get a job offer in the European leagues, I just kind of figured that, you know, <laughs> we'd probably get one in Africa. Uh, okay. Maybe it just takes a little bit. We'll get one. Outcasts to outcasts. <laughs> the African adventure is just Sandy flying home. Anybody at all? <gasps> Look, apply all. We can apply for another job. <laughs> Maybe it's... I mean, yeah, sure, but we don't. So, <laughs> so they've all got... Uh, it might be easier for clubs that have actually just sat their managers because that means they might be actively looking. Outcaster, please. Oh, we actually didn't, Ivanov yet. So we got knocked out by... God, who was it that knocked us out of the Club World Cup in that one? It's just press continue. It's a hell of an adventure. Can't get a work <laughs> Interestingly, FM doesn't need to model that for managers. We'll, we'll get there. It's fine. Hopefully. They have a Mexican affiliate. <laughs> we'll give them one. We bring in Croc. We can't. He won't be in the database. Okay, a few more jobs? No. I mean, <laughs> I would like to just attend one job interview at this point. We may well have to open it up a little bit. Maybe it's maybe it's harder than I thought it would be to get a job in this safe. <laughs> Valestra are just there like, well, we'll give you a job, mate. Just come back to the North Macedonian League. It's fine. <laughs> maybe that's what it is, Yotta. They know. My passport was out of date. I'm actually being held. It's forgotten to employ people. <laughs> yeah, what we might do, we'll give it another like little bit. And then if not, then we'll uh, add 10 more and see what happens. Yeah, we'll expand and then contract should we need to. It's weird though that we wouldn't get any. Okay, let's add some more. So <laughs> we're overqualified through, yeah. Yeah, it, it was not. I did not anticipate that, if, if I'm honest. No badges in Sunday leagues. Usually easy to get a second division side after a few months. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I, I think maybe it's just going to take us a little bit longer. I'm going to give it till the end of Feb with this current setup because we're in no rush in terms of the actual, like, it's not like we've got anything that we need to be for. Ermin and Rushi wants to reunite with me. Oh, Ermin, mate. <laughs> oh, hello, Nightmane. Well, they are actually, look, so they are actually appointing people, which is a good sign. And the clubs, the clubs had managers. Um, to be fair, that's why I simmed halfway through the season, remember? That was to actually get a few jobs available. So we'll see. It's fine. Plus a lot of those, we didn't actually apply for that many jobs. Two and a half hours a year. Yeah, that, that would be a bit much, if I'm honest. But I think we'll be fine. I didn't, you know what? That's one of the things I didn't even think to test was... Uh, so, Cal, what I do on these saves is I start the save and then I sim six months. That way you get a bit more. It's kind of like shuffling the deck, I suppose. So that's the reason I, yeah. So there was a lot of jobs at the start, but then I simmed forward a bit so that they'd fill them and you get a bit more kind of random variations. Job Pog Slide. Great news. So, Andorinha, which is in 
Saltome and Principe. Do you know what, chat? The fact that I have a picture of their stadium in my stadium pack is fucking outrageous. Exactly that too, Cal, yeah. It is possible. Come on. Right. Excellent news. Oh, we're attending them both. Attendance capacity. Six and a half thousand, apparently. Mad. That's awesome. Okay, good. Semi-pro as well. None of that fucking... Is that... Yeah, I swear that... Right, thank you. I thought that looked familiar. <laughs> Portuguese speaking. Not that Sandy would know. Uh, who else we got here? This does not look like that's in the same nation. No, this is... Oh, it is? Grupo Desportivo Que Morebesa. Hey, look. They share a ground chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're both semi-pro in fairness. Well, lovely stuff. Same picture. Same stadium, innit? <laughs> Okay. Right, well, we'll attend. We do it. Watch them not give us the job. <laughs> we are Eric Sandberg, yes. The please, thank you. Thank you for finally getting in touch, the board. Uh, right, let's get down to business. Not speaking the language. The language is Portuguese. We could pick it up. That makes sense that it'd be the National Stadium. I wonder how that does for fixture congestion. Uh, relatively easy language to learn. I mean, we're lying here, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> All right, Clayton. Let's chill. Uh... A forging ahead. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Fight bravely against relegation. Oh, good. A relegation scrap. <laughs> oh, it's going to say, no, they have a board, but it's a piece of MDF. Like, <laughs> fucking finally, yeah. <laughs> I've been expecting you, you little slut. I love that both of you actually thought of the same thing. So I stay in the room and then the next guy comes in from the other club. <laughs> uh, really, Lewis? That's awesome. Right. I mean, I guess we kind of have no choice here, really, do we? Battle against relegation. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll agree. Wait, they have a wage budget? I suppose we're semi-pro. I guess they kind of have to. <laughs> I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting any wage budgets at this point. I figured we'd be doing amateur teams, you know? Oh. Slacking off all the Principe based club. Oh, so we're a Saltome club. Right. Okay, cool. Up the Saltome massive. Proposed wage budget. Yeah, we always agree to that. Uh, yeah, no requests. Right. Clayton, if you could send in the next guy, that'd be terrific. Let's go have a little talk to. Wouldn't it be brilliant if the next guy was also Clayton? <laughs> it's just the same guy. <laughs> he runs all the football clubs. I wasn't expecting any money to exist. Ah. Oh. Well, honestly, I was expecting to do in the amateur leagues. Change. <laughs> Just pulls off his mask. Yeah, I swear that's more than we had at Vilesta. He's got, like, those fake moustache and glasses. Uh, right, so this is Jossely Eanes. Clayton the Saltome Mafia. Right. Okay. Bits and pieces. Yeah, that's fine. Running for a few jobs. So, you seem to be asking me very similar questions to your boy, uh... Your other guy. Hang on, they both have the same... All right, this is going to be interesting, though. What can you offer me, Josely? What What have you got for me? You seem to be asking me very similar questions, bud. Right. I actually can't remember, chat. Is that more or less, or it feels about the same? I think it's a tiny bit more. Like 50 quid or so. Maybe 100 quid more. Maybe. Just under. Oh, just under. Okay. Right. Well, then, Josely, mate. That's, uh... I'll accept the deal, obviously. Because we can de delay as much as we like. Good. Right. He's just spun the swivel. <laughs> just goes through a trap door and a guy comes down from the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, true. Exactly. Sandy doesn't even speak Portuguese. That man could have literally said anything to him. At this point. Through the exact same club. <laughs> Control C. Control V. Okay. Now, if my experience on OTI is correct, it could take us a little while. Yeah, Principe, uh, just like, get fucked, Sandy. We're not interested in you. <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh, lots more job interview. Okay, right. Santana. Suddenly, South Home and Principe, they thirsty for Eric. They thirsty. They want a bit of that Eric Sandberg goodness. They want to drink from the trough that is Eric Sandberg. I love how they all play 4-4-2s. How many of you guys are called Mendes, by the way? Different stadium? Yes, it is. Which means... Nope, that's also on Saltoma. <laughs> Named after the woman from Glee. That is... Uh, okay, cool. 
position eighth. Oh, right then. So what were the finances on the other guys? We'll have to check. Is Stadio... Yeah, you're right. That is the 30th of May, isn't it? Carlos, yeah. Sandy Tum. <laughs> That's true. Sandy played with a lot of Brazilians and they speak Portuguese and therefore he knows how to speak Portuguese too. That's how this works. He's absorbed it through mitosis. Right. Uh, let's attend the interview. Show me. Ivanaldo Lechao. What you got for me, bud? Uh, I mean, yes. Cool. Yeah, we'll go through it. Cool. You also want to fight... Only one of these teams can go down and they all seem pretty certain about going down. So they were all okay. Okay, that makes sense, really. Uh, it would be a lot worse if it was, say, season two of the save. Yes, yeah, a smaller stadium. But we might get the same to ourselves. So that might help with the fixture congestion. Yeah, exciting future. Battle against relegation. But of course. Ah, that's less money, mate. That's just that's just less. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with the training facilities somehow. All right, cool. That's another job. Is there anybody... Oh, that's a point, actually. Uh, yeah, so, so... So this is the second division in Sao Tome and Principe. We, we would be in the second division of Sao Tome and Principe. <laughs> Not even top flight. Oh, that's good, actually. I kind of like that. Thomas Hallam, thank you for the Twitch Prime, Fred. That's extremely kind. Oh, I, I feel a lot better just that we've had a job interview. That makes me feel so much more comf comfortable. I was worried that there was some game-breaking bug where you don't get offered any jobs. I would like to see a job interview from a different country, if that's all the same. Yeah, they're all struggling against relegation to the third tier. Do you think that's because they currently don't have a manager and that, yeah, Tali Allen with two I know, it's impressive, isn't it? I mean, I think some of the other ones do have that. It's just that the database just didn't, ma didn't like, you know, model it properly. Uh, I want to see what these lads have got to say. Like, they're the sort of the sole jobs. I want to see what Ariba have got. Oh, by the way, we do have more than one league in Djibouti. Apparently, yeah, we just bloody love Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, actually. Different country. Well, they are... They're different islands, aren't they? I mean, they are the same country, are they not? Right? Isn't that the whole point? Or are we going to get into... Are we going to have one of those situations again? <laughs> okay. So, wage budget... 2.2k. They're actually going to pay me. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Right, we'll delay. Because that's what we do. Cool, cool, cool. These guys will delay as well. So they're paying me more with a higher wage budget. Bill Al Burns, thank you for the follow, for, follow friend. And iBondi as well. Right, uh, let's just delay that too. Delay as long as we can. They came in quick. They're all about that sandy life. But hopefully we'll have enough time to see if anyone else comes in for us in the meantime. Sibev as well. Satome right move, yes. Oh, we have to. We've got to find it. I am familiar with over hey, Armadillo. I want the Revengers interview. They've not got a lot of time here. I think oh, we're gonna. Ha I think we're gonna have to work work part time as well. Oh, 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 Santana again. Fiona! Damn it! All right. Well, they they want to pay us more. Interestingly, yeah, they want to give me more, but not the club. We'll delay again, of course. Rayiba, thank you for the follow, man. Quimby's ready. That way, the moment we take a job, he's like, bam, here's your Google Maps, and I'll be like, all over that shit. Well, they actually are, JD, because the league hasn't technically started yet. They're all expecting to get relegated. <laughs> oh, it's going good, Steve. How are you, man? Right, so they've agreed to a delay, which is good, because give time for, you know, someone in Sudan to get their shit together, or Revengers, particularly. The new stream deck, no reason to. I have a stream deck, and it works fine. Um, it's one of those things, if mine broke, then yeah, but it's not really worth an upgrade for me. So we've got a couple of jobs on the line at the moment. Actual players, some of them do, yes. So essentially the way it works is, some of them have actual players and the rest are just filled in with regens. Oh, bougie coffee in the house, chat. Fresh out of... This is really messy. <laughs> you what? Wipe my top? I think I need to wipe... Oh, right, I think you meant, you meant the top of the coffee. Sorry, I thought you meant the top of my... Well, top. <laughs> That wasn't a joke. I genuinely thought you meant that. There we go. Wiping that coffee. There's a wild M in the house, chat. you love to see it. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Shambles. That could be me in an hour. <laughs> no, but we've got some job offers. Uh, in one particular country at the moment. It's weirdly. It's a... Uh, what is this one? Is this the strawberry and la... Strawberry... Strawberry vanilla latte, friendos. Mmm. 
It's bougie time. Oh, lovely. When are most of the leagues start? So the leagues actually start at kind of random times, to be fair. Nope. Seychelles play in the African leagues. Uh, so therefore they count, you know? Oh, I was surprised too. They have a really cool, like, uh, diaspora, don't they? Not diaspora, like, uh, an interesting ethnic makeup on the Seychelles. I watch a lot of, like, geography now and uh, stuff like that. Bounce off the walls. Oh, yeah. You need to be. Right. It's I'm just going to keep... Oh, oh, oh. Summer. Hang on. What job just came up? In winter, it can get very depressing. Something just came up. Oh, it was another... Oh, it was a few more Namibian jobs. Citizens. That guy, Nigel. Thank you for the follow, Nigel. So it's in Winhook. Okay. Nice badge. I quite like that. Professional. There's no way we're getting that job. <laughs> uh, Maldives, yes. Wait. No, Maldives are Asia. Weirdly. Uh, I only know I only know that because we played them as um, Guam the other day. Uh, if there were Kenyan jobs, we wouldn't be applying for them. They're too, uh, too high up at the moment. We're doing it in like stacks. Someone sacked my citizens. <laughs> he was overthrown, chat. It's fine. Hey friends, they've got coups. They've got everything. Commerce, yep, they're in. That was a big capacity. Well, I'm saying we got them to the Asian Cup. <gasps> 11 arrows, chat. Yes, now it's going. Jallo sacked... Hang on, sorry. Some of these... <laughs> Coming back to what Hibos just said. Wembe sacked by National Assembly. That's literally you've just been deposed. Also, Immigration FC. Just sacked a guy. Does that mean you get like... It, well, deported. They're an amateur team, though. Ah. Lovely stuff. All 11 of them. <laughs> yeah. 11 arrows. Why is 11 arrows? That's different. Right, okay. Namibia. Professional club, which is terrifying. Yep, Somalia's in it. That, that worries me that they're professional. How is this league professional? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I can kind of see now why citizens sacked their manager. It's just starting to come into life fighters. Life fighters. Surely that's a good thing, right? Like, Ramblers, Ramble Force Ho. Blue Waters, they got some blue ass water. Okay. The Mighty Gunners. Dude, this is what I mean. Just wonderful names. Orlando Pike. You know you're really stooping low when you're not only aping on another team, you're actually aping on another team from the same continent as you. Like, at least still a European or a South American team name, right? Blue wafers. Oh, that'd be amazing. Right, okay. So, interesting badge. It's a lot of arrows. What if we need subs? Like, let's crack on. Shidisho Willemsa. Okay, cool. Go on, mate. Same thing. Uh, they want promises. They want promises already. All right. Um, sure. Why not? Top sister in Namibia is MacGyver. Is it? Hang on. Wait. What? They want a lot of promises. Uh, yeah. It's just. Uh, <laughs> I am that guy. So if you're on the best run of your season, then why exactly 11 arrows are you sacking your manager and replacing him with a Norwegian man? Uh, okay. Keep the good times rolling. Take charge immediately. Yeah, sure. Uh, more than happy. Okay. Wow, they have a lot of shit. They mean... Look at all the promises they fucking want. I mean, to be fair, this stuff doesn't really matter anyway. Okay. Avoid really... Okay, easy. Not important. Don't care about the cup. All right. Mid-table. Sure. That face when you're a professional side, but your wage budget is that which is lower than a semi-professional side. Uh, Shidisho, mate, we need to talk. Uh, that's... No transfer budget, obviously. <clears throat> okay. So I want to see about this... Uh... Yep, you're right. The top...
Sorry? Why is he called Manchester United MacGyver? <laughs> He's a real player, chat. This is not like me mucking with the database. Like, this is a real player, allegedly. I, someone has mentioned this to me before, but obviously he was never in a, a, a league I could search up when we were on stream before. Sadly, he doesn't play for the team that we're looking for, but I just... I just... I, I just... <laughs> I can't. Meister, thank you for the 16 months, man. There's going to be a lot of what the fuck was that segments, but that might be my favorite. Save, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Shambles, you damn near made me spit my coffee out there. Into Milan Colombo. <laughs> He's real. Okay, Ben, give me what you got on him. I've got to know. Preferred teams, Manchester City. Oh, man. Nine assists, though, for MacGyver. To be fair, he's quite handy, isn't he, I suppose? But, like, Christ. Ah, oh. Better than Aston Villa Midsummer Murders. Yeah, no, I, I knew he was a real player. I mean, like, any players that you see the faces like this are real players, technically. As in, they are in the default database. Um, or, actually, that's te not technically true, is it? But, still, he's real. Oh, here we go. Here's your boy. Yep, Unam Football Club. Manchester United, MacGyver. That's him. I just... That is... Amazing. Just outrageous work. Oh, speaking of, this is totally off topic, chat, I realise, right? So, yesterday, M's friend that she used to go to uni with, who's now a teacher, uh, put something on Instagram, and I felt... I laughed my ass off so much that I had to show you. I got his permission to show you this. I've blanked out anything that's identified. So he's a history teacher, right? And he got like a, a thank you card. And this is what it said, oh, right? This was addressed to him from a student in his class. And it says, thank you for teaching me history because if you didn't, you would be fired. <laughs> He's technically correct, the kid, in fairness. So... <laughs> He's even spelled fired wrong. <laughs> I know, like I said to him at the time, he's not wrong though, is he? Like, he's bang on the money, that kid. Lovely old job. That kid is... He... One day he could be up there with Manchester United and MacGyver for me. Thinly veiled threats there. <laughs> so, that one goes out to you, mate. That... Oh, incredible stuff. That was you. <laughs> the irony is, Ben, you actually have the same name as... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not even a joke. Oh, incredible stuff. Right, okay. <laughs> and we're back in the room. At least we're getting some job interviews now, right? So we've got one with 11 arrows. That's cool. Degraded Gamer, thank you for the follow, man. Job search has gone all right. We've got a couple of uh, Saltome and Principe jobs on the cards and a potential one with 11 arrows in the Namibian Premier League. Uh, one of the things we also want to be careful of is taking over clubs who are in the... Uh, well, I said in the teacher's name, Ben, not the student. Um... He's taking, say, for example, with Citizens, the problem we'd have if we, say, took over this job is... Actually, to be fair, there are only four points from... Oh, only three points from safety. But, like, we, it's insta-sack if you get relegated, regardless, because, obviously, the leagues below are not switch-onable. Think his English teacher needs firing. <laughs> oh, young Brazilians have any Brazil? I bet you they don't. I bet you they don't. Hello, Viking! How's things going at Ron's? That's the top league in Namibia, yes. Most nations I only have one league available for, just because, you know, <laughs> is that asking too much? Um, but yeah, some of them we have more than one league. Weirdly, South Tome and Principe, we actually have multiple leagues. It's it's a strange one. And Djibouti as well. We actually have two divisions for Djibouti too. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Oh, believe me, we know all about Zimbabwe. <laughs> Every time they get a red card, they just reduce the number of arrows. Oh, God. Jomo Cosmos is a great name as well. Okay, any more jobs that we could apply for? No, these guys are all... Oh, come on, Ariba. Get back to me, boys. You're in the second division of Djibouti. What have you got to lose? Hosp... No, no. Hospital Balbala. Cool name. There's a lot of, like, um... Strange names in Djibouti, to be fair. Preferring to suffer Trump, so... <laughs> okay, we can delay again. 
And I'm not opposed to delaying further, like just bidding a couple off if we have to. I want to see if 11 hours approaches. Because I would prefer 11 hours at this point. I don't know about you, because it's a top flight job. There we go. Bam. Although it is... Wow, look at the money. So we'll delay here. That's my current pref preference. Santana are back again. That's fine. So they agree to delay. So we've got one more week on those ones and then two weeks on 11 arrows. I'd be content with delaying, with bidding those ones and delaying 11 arrows for two weeks just to see if anything else comes up. Sat in the spare room in a really good newspaper. So what exactly did Ron say, Viking? Just think of the memes. Exactly. That's usually why we choose teams is because oh, of the memes. Plus, then we get to play in the same league as Manchester United MacGyver. The Money Tour TMT. Thank you for the follow, man. Wow, lots of follows today. I'm, do you know when you can just feel it? It just feels better. Like, this is how I have to pick jobs when I'm doing OTI. And it's much harder on YouTube because I don't have you lot to bounce off of. When we did it last year in Europe, it was way easier to pick jobs because we just had the memes. And mostly we'd pick them based on the memes. It's sad that Zamzibar doesn't seem to be working properly. Actually, with that in mind, chat. Like, really? Holy shit, that is a lot of viewers. We've only been live now. Oh. And it's a Saturday. Right. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I think something's wrong with the Zanzibar database. Someone did mention that perhaps there was an issue with them never appointing managers. And I think that's definitely the case here. So my proposal is this. We take Zanzibar out of our little rotation and bring in the next team up. Just so that it might open up a little bit more options for us. Because I don't think Zanzibar's happening. The others seem fine. We can actually apply for them. That's not an issue. Yeah, it sounds like a lovely place to be fair. Uh, all I can think about with Zanzibar is that one Tenacious D song. So, what's the next one on the list after Zanzibar is my question. Uh, oh, I know. What we, I was trying to remember what page we were looking on to find out that stuff, weren't we? We were on the Africa Nation Coefficients. So, it was Mauritania. I don't sense that's going to get us a great deal more, but never, never mind. We might have a look. So, it's Mauritania. Oh, actually. Hey, look. There you go. Lovely. Wait, hang on. I can apply for that, but there's no apply all. Or is it because there's only one job available? I assume that's what it is. Remove Santa from the database. Oh, true. Yeah. It won't make much difference yet, but you're right. It, it makes no sense to have it in there if we can't use it properly. I'd like Djibouti too, but we haven't had any offers in Djibouti yet, sadly, which is a shame. I've only said hello to him. I just want to do my thing. Oh, cool. That'd be cool then. Did you bring any uh, computing equipment with you by any chance, Viking? <laughs> Extremely lovely name. Les Elephants. Beautiful. I love me an elephant. If I find a team name with giraffe or anything related to giraffes in it, I'm all over that. I'm going to check now. Right, where are you? What league are you in? How do I... Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yes. Very soon. They are building uh, it now. Are they defunct or something? Swembra, thank you for the follow, man. Akabori. Yeah, literally, the elephants. It's great stuff. Um, what's going on here? I should... What nations are these players? Oh, it's Japanese? I think it's probably because it's a Japanese club. And that's why, because I don't have any of the league switched in. Weird. I do want... I wouldn't mind ending up in Tanzania at some point. Just because Tanzania has giraffes. It's their national animal. Uh, we've already applied for that, which is cool. Oh, nice. Are they going abroad then, Viking? Japan. Oh, oh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, good point. Well, so I hadn't thought about that. Mm. Right, that's my bougie coffee downed. I'm, it's pulsing through my veins. That's what you need right about now. Maybe Mauritania was the way. Eric Longneck Sandberg. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right. Okay, good. I, I was worried for a good 20 minutes that we were never going to be able to find a job. Honestly, I was so concerned. But I'm glad that it looks like most things are working fine. With any of these sort of experimental databases, there's always going to be problems. Um, but as long as it's not like game breaking. And the beautiful thing about a journeyman like this is if we did encounter something, we can just quit and go to a different country. So, oh, they're going to see the Danks aren't. Nice. She live in Jersey then. Fair one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anything happening here? 
Oh, lots more sackings. Whether they mean anything to us. Sunrise is a cool name. Uh, Zest. Oh, I th for a second, I thought that said Tesco Shockers. That would be superb, but not quite. We're getting a good experience of seeing some names. Inugu Rangers. Now, they're a really big side, to be fair. Like, I think they're also off the... Uh, so, I'm using uh, a combination of the Riddler's... Da sorry, Riddler's databases on Steam Workshop and Dave the Editor's databases to sort of fill the gaps, basically. Because some of Dave's stuff is a bit more detailed and has some leaves that Riddler doesn't. So, yeah. She was in the tax haven. <laughs> yeah. Is Danica's aunt Jeff Bezos? We do have the Mauritius League. Yes. Also, if you want to play along with the save, you actually can download it from the very start and use the exact database setup I'm using. That way you don't have to go through all the hassle of setting it up yourself. And then you can turn just turn off any leagues you don't want to make your computer maybe run it a bit faster. So, yeah, feel free to do that if you fancy it. So, so there's definitely some more jobs that come available here, aren't they? I don't know which ones, but well, we'll see, actually. So it was FC Sahel, who is uh, Mauritanian. Okay, cool. And then Oshakati City in Namibia. So I'm just replying to end that. Right, okay. Yeah, we also have a spreadsheet as well. Yeah, just literally, you can just dump the save file into your games folder and then just start it up. You'll be Eric Sandberg, but you don't have to. You can just retire him and add your own manager and it will all be dandy. I did the hard work, so you don't have to. Oh, dearie me. Oh, see you later, Viking. Somalia, let's see. Maybe. Maybe. It's one of these things. We'll, we'll figure it out, you know. Hey, T Jesus. We have been going for about an hour and 10 minutes. We haven't actually made a huge amount of progress. Done a few job interviews. You know the drill. Job interview simulator. Hey, you know, the job interview part is part of the fun for me on Journeyman Saves. The, it's Choosing a club is super important because finding the right one, like if you pick the wrong one, you can get bored of it. And obviously you can change really easily, but picking the right job is really important for me. But yeah, Somalia does look a little bit broken too. All right, in that case, what's our uh, opinion? Because I think the others are all fine. Like, we can apply for all of those. Because you can see that we've been able to apply. These ones, obviously, we're already appointing people, but that's fine. But all the other ones look fine. It's just Somalia looks like it's a bit buggered as well. So the question then becomes, do we then bin off Somalia as well and then add the next one? This is the very first day of the new save. Yes. Next one up, Malawi. Oh, Malawi could be fun. Yeah, we finished the Tromsa save. Um, Finally. <laughs> Chose a team. No, no. It's it's a it's a journey, man. That's the beauty of it. All right, then. With that in mind, then, because I think that is a little bit broken too. It's just so hard to figure this sort of stuff out a lot of the time. That's the problem. There's no amount. Of, well, there is amount of testing, but that amount of testing is not. You know, you have to trust that the databases themselves are going to be good enough. So I think we'll do that. And was it Malawi? Was the next one up? You say we'll go Malawi. Oh, hello, Red Lions. Yes. No licenses. No, no, this is all extended databases, T Jesus. Uh, except for the South African leagues. That's the one that does have uh, licenses. Red Lions. Okay. They're a pub, aren't they? I'm calling it now. They're a pub. And they have a guy called Royal Bacosi, which is a cool name. 666. Right, okay. Loads more jobs being stationary stores. Cool. Cool. Yes, uh, we did the nation. We did the uh, looking forward thing, Durka Ranji. It's, I think, actually, the video came out yesterday on my Twitch, uh, on my second channel, uh, which you can find here. I believe it's episode 94 of the save. That's the, uh, it was 65 years in the future we ended up at in the end. Oh, wow. Malawi Armed Forces College were like, no, mate, not having it. Right, so, we won't be able to delay anymore, will we? No. I don't know about you, chat, but I'm prepared to just bin these two potential jobs. Viceroy! With the 16 months! Vice months. I have even been alive that long. It's true. It's just very true. How are you, my friend? Lovely to see you. Ah, oh, Vice is in the house chat. The ambassador of happiness. Things you love to see. So, are we all agreed that we probably walk away from these ones because we've still got 11 hours in our back pockets, give it another couple of weeks, and then go from there because i feel like i'd rather take the 11 arrows job than these ones but if we get another one we'll do a, like a fat like a poll to be to decide because i just these ones don't just grab me the way that the 11 arrows one do i think that's my plan here be cool if you could let it go more but yeah 
we are we're doing well yeah the old school afcon icon save yeah finally getting started with it a dirt pitch to be fair one of the teams we were looking at had a pretty like well like a pretty dusty looking pitch i suppose because obviously it was you know it was in um saltome in principe he does have a funny name exactly right okay so santana carlos i'm sorry mate now's not the time 11 arrows should be fine with another yeah okay cool so we've got another week from 11 arrows hopefully we can get another job or something in that period if not then 11 hours it is you know i'm fine with that sandberg fires 11 hours to success oh mate think of the memes i can't wait where uh, 11 hours is based in uh, namibia vice uh, i'm not sure about whereabouts in namibia it might be probably likely to be somewhere like windhook also those of you that are maybe familiar with afrikaans uh is it pronounced windhook or windhook because i i'm a bit with heroes fc as well by the way beautiful name hello man. what's up chief could i potentially have a, a coffee <laughs> he says having just finished his bougie coffee from cost <laughs> what's wrong with me i'm having fun that's what's wrong with me what's wrong with you you're gonna be bouncing around the you're gonna bounce around this room you say that as if that is a negative for me it is yes because i have to pull up the air i have to pull up these guys aren't here in person to see it whereas me Chat, I'm being lambasted. How is this? I, I, the disrespect is incredible. Ah, I'm being tickled. But no, seriously, can I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot as hell, Cyprus. My God. I, I don't envy you there, my friend. It's hot enough here, let alone in Cyprus right now. So, yeah, Heroes FC, that's a cool name. Is that Rwanda? Yeah, it is. So, Flame Olympic. Come on. They're from Walvis Bay. Okay, cool. Where's that? Pronounce it like it's Dutch. Yeah, someone was lambasting me for my Dutch pronunciation, so this is why I'm a bit more... Uh... <laughs> Look, Black Leopards. They're a really big side, though, aren't they? Yeah. Vindhoek. Okay, cool. Not in front of my friends. <laughs> yeah, in it, though. National Bank. Cool. I look forward to going there. Ruvu shooting. I'll be the judge of that. Like, <laughs> shooting stat one. Oh, okay. Okay. Vintuk. You do realize that just writing it down in a way... I, unless it's phonetic, I'm not gonna... Know. 38 degrees, that is mad. See you later, Only M. So, Vintuk. Okay, that's cool. It's going good, Weezer, actually. We're just doing some job interviews. So, here's... Okay, so this is... This is Namibia 2, but they are not professional. That's the difference. But they're also not called 11 arrows. So... You know, it's not always as good. Oh, Quimby's getting ready. He's got his maps out. Good stuff. Hey, Obsidian. Right, let's do the interview, though, of course. Let's see what uh, Mr. Mm, Palello Catapose has to do with us here. They are lower in the league and are on terrible form right now. And they've not got... Well, to be fair, the other team don't have Man United MacGyver either. He plays for Unum, uh, which is one of the bigger sides. Uh, so, none of which one we move to, it wouldn't be them, sadly. But we would get to play against him. No matter who we join, in fairness. Ah... Uh, so how do they know, good, is my uh, question. How do, how do you the know? You've been reading my emails, uh, Mr. Uh, Katupose. Mid Garris, thank you for the follow. Hello, Dan. Don't trust any sponsor from Iceland. Okay, I've got to know. You, you're going to have to explain that a bit more. I'm curious. Uh, sure. It's weird. They're asking me questions as if I've already had a management career. <laughs> Sooner than anyone would have expected. Well, then that's your fault, isn't it? You know what? Take it or leave it, buddy. I don't need to be here. Establish yourself as a class manager. That's fine. Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, yeah, we'll start immediately, obviously. I don't want to make any changes because you never do. They've actually got a director of football, which is incredible. Uh, avoid relegation, pal, as per. Continue being an established team. Good. I could do that. What are we looking at here? Avoid relegation. Sure. Yeah, you see, this is this is not as good, is it? Start all right, Dan. Start all right. Oh, I'm definitely going to start looking. Once we once we find ourselves our uh, club, we're definitely going there. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a lot of money, mate. I mean, I'd be happy to, but you're not getting me. Come on. Your, your boys across the street have definitely outdone you there, buddy. If we actually get a chance to join a professional side in our first job, even if it is Namibia, then fine. Let me just make sure Namibia... Because Namibia a few times haven't sent clubs to... Uh, that's Europe, Matt. Have not sent clubs to... Uh, the African competitions, but yep, they, they do get qualification places. 
it's a bit different in Africa with the way it works with the uh, the continental competition. Sometimes teams don't... Uh, the Le For example, the Namibian League has collapsed recently in real life, as far as I'm aware. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's the situation in Namibia at the moment. It's a bit of a minefield as far... Not an actual minefield. That's unfortunately various other parts of Africa, but as far as I know, not Namibia, but a metaphorical minefield in this particular situation. And yeah, I think the league has collapsed. They have no street view. God, it means we can't play GeoGuessr there either. Geo Wizard would be most disappointed. Takes Cheetah Hot. That sentence is just wonderful. Also, this badge. Look at that. Okay. That's fine. The JMG clubs. Uh, I'm not scouting anybody because I don't have a club <laughs> at the moment. Uh, well, we're not going to do the Egyptian second tier just yet. So what we're doing, for those of you that may have just joined, is because you can, generally speaking, get quite a decent lot jobs we're staggering it so that we're only looking in like the 10 worst countries in terms of their coefficient first and then building a way up like that um otherwise we could get maybe slightly higher of a job too quickly although given what we've seen maybe that's not the case national bag job we'll buy him exactly i open my own hotel it does i hope they got some speedy players they could go great against ruvu shooting similar like retail collapses of society <laughs> hopefully we avoid any of those yeah, M, by the way, chat, is the one who produced the spreadsheet uh, with all the teams. She did a fucking excellent job. Okay, so they eventually, they eventually went with Manuel Mendes in the end, who, to his credit, is miles better than me. But he does have a negative... He has a 0% a win percentage. Ledbetter takes the... Oh, Polokwane City. That's a massive team. Uh, Zambief. Cool. Oh. 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 Red Star Defense Forces of Djibouti. Djibouti are in for Djiboy. Oh, wait, no. This is Seychelles, isn't it? Not Djibouti. This is Seychelles. But so, amateur, albeit. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, we've got to do the interview. Obviously, there's going to be no budgets or anything like that. We know that for sure. Tenka. It must be the national team stadium. I think it's one of those kind of... All right. Ryan Rose. All right. Doing a Red Star save. Yeah. Imagine that. Do Djibouti for cutsy. Plus, our players would get to leave on Djibouti duty chat. So, nothing wrong with that. I saw that, the Coca-Cola footballing empire thing. I remember seeing... Someone did like a monster one as well on Reddit. Unless that's the same thing and I'm just getting confused. Uh, screw in the back of the pack. I mean, we will struggle a bit. What do they speak in, Seych in the Seychelles? Is it French? Is it natively? Is it a French-speaking country? I forget. Existing support team. I'm guessing since the demonym is Seychellois, I'm assuming that that's they do speak French. I guess they have other languages too, but predominantly. Uh, Somali's not really working properly, sadly, Mahad. Unfortunately, none of the jobs seem to work. How can you go and leave when you're already in paradise? Exactly. Amateur, sure. But at this point, it's not like that much of a big deal to me. Uh, the only problem you'd have with the amateur side of things is the contracts, but there is apparently a way around that. Someone showed me last time um, a tip that allows you to not have to constantly give players new contracts every two days because that shit is annoying. Uh, we'll keep the uh, same doff. Uh, they want to qualify for the Confederation Cup. I was about to say we're about to play in Europe. <laughs> yeah, so Slugs made the made the, pred the spreadsheet originally and M has uh, not improved it. She's modified it for the Africa settings. The drop down menu isn't working. Okay, I'll take a look at that. It might be because of... Um... Oh, is it working now? Cool. But look, they want to get the semi-finals of the cup and qualify for the second tier of African football, which by the way would mean we'd need to come sixth. Uh, sorry, second in the league. I kind of like the fact that they've got ambition though, right? The 11 arrows thing is cool, but this team actually might have a an opportunity. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what their team's like. They could be dog shit. Um, they are amateur as well, but that's not entirely bothering me. But we'd have to see. Uh, I don't really care about these guys, to be honest. I'll delay them anyway, just so we've got the job there, but I'm not really super bothered about going there. Like, if we're going somewhere in Namibia, it's definitely going to be red ar um, 11 hours and not them. The question is, Swallows FC. There's more than one team called that. In fact, I've seen about six teams called that from what I remember. My only hope is that they put an offer in for us before we have to make a decision on the 11 hours job. That's the biggest issue we've got right now. 
Because if they come back, they need to come in quick. All right, so... I don't know if there's any more jobs. Oh, there is actually a couple more. I don't know which one. Oh, six more jobs. Okay, fair enough. Barrios Unidos. What nations are these? Is it more Sudan? I think it's just more nations are sacking people at the moment. We'll still do a poll if we can get... Well, if we have offers on the table, anyway. Outcast to swallow us <laughs> in it. Oh, I don't know when the date is. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, it's going to be mad. Right, so that's loads of new people potentially getting sacked. But obviously, that just tells us of everything rather than the specific ones we're looking for at the moment. Hmm. I just hope they put an offer in. Because then we'd have to potentially turn down... Oh, shit. They didn't. Right. So. We won't be able to delay this anymore. I mean, I'll try, but I'm fairly certain they'll say no. Yeah. So, our, our situation is... These guys are a professional side in the, the, the Namibian top flight. They're called 11 Arrows, which is a great name. They have a badge. They play in yellow, which is pretty sick. And I don't think... Like... If I don't take it, the only job that we've got on the table right now is a, uh, a job in the Seychelles for an amateur side, who, albeit, do have some potential, maybe, but this feels like the one for me. Are we, are we saying take it? Predicted fifth. Incredible wage overall. Professional as well, so we wouldn't have to worry about that. I think 11 arrows. I think we might be heading off to uh, Namibia, friends, for our first job in Africa. Oh, things are about to get toisty. I wonder when their league starts. Right, start negotiations. Let's go. Let us go. So one year contract makes complete sense. Uh, we actually do have to be careful of things that like wages because we, you know, it makes it easier to... They're not all new gens. Uh, new gens. <coughs> regens. This is a regen channel, sir. Um, because wage value actually does matter because it makes it harder for them to sack us. So that does kind of matter, although it's a one year contract anyway. <gasps> Hang on. One second, Chateau. One second, Chateau. Something just came in the mails. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the away kit hath arrived, Chateau. Oh, it's got the football manager at the back as well. That's kind of cool, actually. That is fucking sick, boys. And now I have both of them. Obviously, this one doesn't have my name on the back, as I was sent the last one, but... And I, I paid for this properly uh, because I just really wanted it. I think it looks so damn cool. It's his anniversary present. There you go. Which I paid half of. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh, dear. European-based African players will have a job. <laughs> we won't be able to scout Europe. Oh, you got it too, full said. Nice. We must have been like the first batch. That's sick. I might change into that in a bit when I have a break. Oh, thank you, Bryce. Do a charity stream. I haven't been approached. You're right, Em. Em's not done well there, has she? <laughs> she's, she's not done well. <laughs> right. So I think we just agreed to that contract, right? That seems like the best bet right now. Just go with what we got. I don't know. It looks pretty sick. Em, em is currently modeling the shirt for us there. Uh, obviously, looks a little big on her. Um, this is probably a bit, a bit bigger than me as well. I'm more, more of an extra medium these days, you see. <laughs> there we go. It's because you're on goal. <laughs> so we didn't. Oh, they choose us, PK. So we're going to, hopefully. Um. Ha <laughs> We're in, boys. Eleven arrows. We're in. Oh, first team of the save. A lovely fetching Watford ripoff going on here with the kit, which is nice. Obviously, this is stuff we're just going to inevitably have to uh, get rid of that. I'll do other press conferences because we're going to have to, but not that one. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, no, no, nothing's perfect. Uh, locked in, indeed. Looks like, oh, but Donald's. It does, doesn't it? Last year of contract. So that'd be everyone now, wouldn't it? Absolutely no way to right. This is going to be an absolute nuts fest. <laughs> We could actually, we could use Nine Main's kit generate. This is the perfect time for it. Oh, save actually, good shout. Oh, 
We'll see, yeah, I'm, I'm about to find out about that myself, Acro, to be honest. <laughs> right, prize money? Almost certainly no. But we'll find out for ourselves. There is prize money, in fairness. Thank God. Like, that actually does please me. The fact that there is prize money, you can see the winners go to the African Champions League and the second place team goes into the, Af uh, the African Confederation Cup, which is exactly how it's supposed to be. I am the 12th arrow. We are all the 12th arrow. Yeah. <laughs> the orange. They're both balls by orange, in fairness. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, why is this not working? But you can see that... Uh, where are we? Not Europe. I've got to stop instinctively clicking that. So here, African Champions League works perfectly. African Confederation Cup, same deal. They have a lot more preliminary rounds and just less groups when you get rude to the next one. Yeah, so I am going to use the Z-Gens. I just couldn't do it to the start because I didn't know where we'd be. And I didn't want to run it over the entire database in one go, just in case. So for the next stream, I'll use our scouting range and run it over just Namibia. So we should get all the faces for the regens, basically. So that will be sorted for the next one. Oh, do it. Do the same one, Clarky. Download the database and play along. Future's bright. Right, okay, good. That stuff I'll have to look at in a sec. Playing time expectations, sure. A golden generation, you say? Ah, oh, we'll be the golden arrows. Everything is sponsored by Telecom's company. It do be seeming like that. Mid-table finish. Well, we've got no choice here, really. It's not like they'll give us... Oh, well, here's an extra 50 quid. Cheers, mate. Plus, they're probably spending all of it, too. We are actually going to have to do that. Now, my plan tactically is going to be, essentially, look at the players we have, build a team out of the players that are the best, and then play them in their best positions and just try to work it out like that. That's, generally speaking, the only way to go about it at these lower leagues. You want to get the best out of the best players, really. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Let me just check, actually. <laughs> Good luck signing anybody. <laughs> right, well, uh, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Already overspending. Already. Okay, well, uh, who is the most... All right, we have to look through this. God, this stuff's going to get on my tits. Okay. Well, okay. So we can see who's got the best XG. Okay. So, wow, the disparities, friends. The disparities. Oh, yeah, we want to look at the... Uh, uh, to be fair, like, Acro, to expect it to be perfect is a bit much. Like, as long as it works enough, then we're fine. Um, so the rules. Let's actually just check that. So goal difference. Goal scored. Okay. Max of three stoppages. I wonder how that's going to work. So five. We can actually uh, do five subs. No more than five foreign players. I don't see that being an issue. Uh... Okay. One match after four, then three, then one. That makes sense. Maximum five for a play. I mean, these sort of rules are just never going to be a problem for us, really. Uh, terracing is permitted. In case you needed to know that. How many of the previous wingers are defunct? Yes. <laughs> I would imagine a lot of them. Although, actually, these guys are all certainly still in the league. You know, you've got Black Africa are there. There's African stars are up there, too. Tigers seem to no longer be in the top flight. In fact, they are still around, but we'll have to see. Non-Namibian. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. So we'll have a look at who's the best. In fact, one thing I like to do sometimes when I get to these clubs is, yeah, is look at the squad depth for uh, the, the, the assistance like recommendations. Because usually it gives you an idea of where the best players play. So it seems that, well, no right back, so that's a great start. Uh... <laughs> Apricius Petrus is by far the best. He's not even that bad. Yeah, depth. <laughs> like, he's actually not an awful left back. 15 tackling, chat. <laughs> he's actually all right. Like, he's not the quickest, in fairness to him, but he's not awful by any means. There's also this guy, Ace, who is a, was actually really a right-footed player more than anything else. Like, goodish dribbling. He's he's okay. He's not totally terrible. Indeed, exactly. Oh, yeah. I forgot you can get rid of this, can't you? I hate that you have to do this on every save, it feels like. So I swear I've done this before. He's an AP. Yeah, but he's not, is he? As in, he isn't currently in that position. Uh, what about... Wow, well, they are stacked in strikers. Okay. They don't have a lot of players in general, do they? They have a team. What about Dev? Uh, they might have an under-20 side. Okay, so they have got some youth players as well. So what I might do with the squad rise is just turn that on as well. Because otherwise, you know, we're not going to have enough players. Don't want to get poached for free. Well, I mean, <laughs> as you'll have seen here, this may not be an issue. may not be a, like, 
a possibility for some of these guys. So Apricius Petrus, we can't sign him to a new deal. He just simply won't. Um, let's see. He, though, seems up for it. So if we could get Ace here, Gurarib, on a new deal, that would be a good smart move for us. The question is how much money he wants. Because remember, we have no money. In fact, it might not let us offer him a uh, big pay rise. Yeah, mate, that's not happening. That's quite a lot of extra cash he wants there, chat. I realize he's our best player, but this could be an issue for us. How many get... He no caps from Namibia. So that's... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. See if I can knock this down a bit. I mean, what is a reasonable amount here? Okay. You're not really negotiating with me here, Ace. Okay, that's better. Meet me at a 120. If you can get me to 120, I'll consider it. Because you are our best player. 130? Maybe it's a lot, but we could save some money off elsewhere, potentially. We'd have to, really. Particularly as we're going to be losing the other guy at the end of the season anyway, because he won't sign a new contract. So that would actually free us up a bit of wage budget to sort of pay for this a little bit. It's not the end of the world. And it's a two-year deal. Fine, 130. I'm amazed they even let us offer it, to be honest. Plus, look, some of these guys are on, like... He's only recently signed a new contract. Well, even lads, but he's only 17 and he has five-star potential. Ismail Gebhardt, who's the left-sided player, albeit not a very good one, but, like, who is good at this level? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, like, really poor quality. Look, look at these guys. Like, yeah, £90 a week, lads. I think maybe the minimum wage is £90 a week, perhaps. That might also be what it is. So we might be able to refresh this squad out a little bit. Because there's a lot of sort of 25, 26. Right? Like, look at these guys who are on basically... They're on the same money as the as the big guys, just have no none of the quality of the big guys. So we could certainly save a decent amount of cash that way. Uh, Petrus has got no interest on it. He's got enough time. Is he any good though, Lakshman? We'll have to. We're gonna have to sign people anyway. That much we do know. But I think it is best if we just try and sort this stuff right now because otherwise we could potentially get the poach later. I don't know how that works. Whether it's like you know the one month to go they can poach them, or whether it's like six months to go. Oh yeah, hell yeah. 90 quid a week is not bad, is it, really? Some of these guys run 100 quid a week. So Ishmael definitely needs a new contract. He may not actually agree to one, though. No, okay, that's annoying. Uh, recently signed a new deal that somehow only takes him through to the end of the season. <laughs> Just brilliant work from the previous... Uh, he, for me... 14 finishing, actually. But is he our best striker? Like, who is our best striker? Oh, it is him. But there's Richard here, who has much worse finishing, but he's also only 16 and has high potential. Oh, this is going to be uh, very, very difficult. But that's that's part of the fun of it, isn't it? it? It was quite hard to set up. And there's obviously going to be some problems with it, which we can deal with. But see, a lot of these guys are just trashy, not good players that we can get rid of and free up a lot of cash. You're right. Maybe we should just wait a tiny bit and then see what players we actually want to use once we've played a couple of games and then maybe decide which ones we want to keep. Because the last thing I want to do is give a guy that's maybe going to play in a role that I don't want loads of money. And just have him... Because I could use that money elsewhere. Remember, we could bring in players too. Particularly as the fact that not all the teams in this league are professional. That's something I've just noticed. So Civics, I'm certain there are some semi-pro teams in this league. See, look, Life Fighters are one. Uh, these guys who we got off of the job at as well. Uh, most of them are pro, but there's definitely a few semi-pro sides that will definitely give us an advantage when it comes to actually signing players from them particularly if there's any clubs like we're actually playing a game today oh you're right we are aren't we <laughs> in that case we're probably better off just looking through these teams and trying to find out what's good and what's not so decent amount of youngsters now as for their quality we just really don't know but yeah um it like all of these teams it just kind of fades out very quickly so this guy's got a lot of assists which actually makes sense I mean, he's probably been their best average rated player so far and also, Charles Honduras played a decent amount. Is he their goalkeeper? Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's fine. Plenty of time. We can figure this out. So, tactics. Actually, no. Let's look at the uh, team report first. And go to the squad depth. The question is, what type of shape do we actually want to play with these guys? I really don't like this shape. And is there a better way of playing with these guys? We have no right backs either. That's, that's worth noting. Not that there's really a way around that. Route one, shoot on site. Well, yeah. But I just, I really am not a fan of this particular shape, but it might be our only option, really. Although what we could do is just go with this 
to start with and then just change it. The old, yeah, the old 1.5 star keeper. It's a bit mismatched. Maybe we'll put one of these in to begin with. Pop it on all positions. Yeah, we've got options for attacking mid, although really it's actually not that many options. Let me just turn on the under 20 squad as well. Let me get a bit more options there. Thank you, Ed. That's something I didn't have. Yeah, exactly. Colors of the away. I think it's white. Defensive wing on the right. Yeah, we might have to. No right-sided defenders at all. Yeah. Which is, I mean, to be fair, no real system is going to work without any right-sided players. Yeah, no, I saw the first time out. No, you know, welcome aboard, mate. But maybe just chill. Ah, oh, deary me. Take your negativity elsewhere. <laughs> right. So, I mean, there's no depth anyway, even with the other wing turned on. Uh, Jay Duncan, thank you for the gifted sub to PK Joe. That is extraordinarily nice of you, my man. Hmm. So it's, it's all very well. Hang on, they've got loan players. They do. Actually, we can make use of loans. We can't do it now, I don't think, because we're not in a transfer window, but we can definitely make use of that later. Hmm. Three defender and try to outscore. We don't have three defenders, though. We've got two midfielder, two centre backs, and a left back. Oh. Ooh. What about some asymmetric madness, chat? What about some asymmetric madness? <laughs> Heider Brown, thank you for the follow, man. And what I mean by that is, bear with me. <laughs> it doesn't take much to drag me into an asymmetric madness. Thank you for the 100 bits, Mikey. Petrus could be a centre back. Well, I mean, he literally isn't a centre back. And what I mean by that is, like, you want to make sure at this level that you're playing people in their correct positions because you, like, he has no familiarity with the centre back role right now. And I'm not going to start, like, he's a really good left back. So putting him at centre back for me would just be a waste of him. Mm. Modern pro exactly. Asymmetric solutions. So, uh, this is annoying because I actually can't. Hang on. I. I just want to put in something that looks even slightly close to what we're doing. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? I just want to put it in. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we haven't got any left backs. So we have to kind of make do. <laughs> Defensive winger, maybe? <laughs> Cover on this side? <laughs> Malteser Falcon, thank you for the 50 bits. Just really, 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 really defensive on this side. And then have like... See who's actually good for these rolls for a start. It's kind of just like a Christmas tree that's just a bit broken. What is right back? Have I saved? Yes, we've saved, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to look for some right backs. I'm just kind of curious now, right? Do you know what I mean? I'm just a little bit interested as to whether we can make something well. Let me just see selection advice now. See, it's still all over the shop. Because we don't have a lot of attacking mids. Actually. <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of things we can do, but you've got to remember we're playing in the Namibian top flight so there's a limit to what you can expect from the players essentially oh we're on a hype train now wow <sighs> yeah so he's gonna have to just chill i don't want him on cover actually if we're gonna have this guy here i want him to just be on different imagine if this worked <laughs> halfback maybe depends on how good he is for the he needs to be on the basic shit right now just as basic as possible but we don't want three defensive players on this same position like two of these guys should be able to do enough of a job so i kind of want him who doesn't advance forward is just basic stuff, like the most simple... Whoa, Nordmore, thank you for the five gifted. Holy shit. That's so nice. Get some presents for Nordmore. If you have been gifted a sub by Nordmore there, then do be sure to thank it. That's extraordinarily nice. We'll call it the broken arrow. A Caliero. Ooh, what's this role here? would be Caliero, maybe. It's just about... Hang on, what's his... What's his PPM? Arrives late in opponent's area. Okay. Okay. Dirk Aranji, thank you for the tier one as well. 
Oh dear. Uh, so this that database there is not this. Um, if you want this, uh, if you do save file, you'll get essentially access to it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. So we're going to need to attack heavily down this side here. A vast playmaker, I will keep him on support, but I wouldn't mind someone bombing from midfield, but I don't want to overdo it. And he'll stay on support to try and cover this. <laughs> this is stupid as fuck. I love it. Right, okay. Let's think about the possession here. Uh, probably focus play down the left-hand side, eh? Since, you know, there is not really... I don't really want him pushing too far forward. Actually, I don't want to overlap on the left because the fullback won't do that. Uh, hit early crosses, maybe? That will prevent our fullback, our wide man, from going too far up. Push the left-back on. But then I don't want to get caught out this side. Maybe I see him on attack here. Maybe. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, wow. He's really bad. What? Hang on. Isn't Gephardt... Hang on. Let me just do a selection advice again. Right. Okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to balance it. I'm, he's trying to balance it, he says, while playing this. It looks like a backwards T overlap, right? <laughs> Kayimbi's like, yeah, boss, I got you. I'm going to be the overlapping center back, mate. Sorted, bruv. Oh, dear. What is... So he's a really good player. He's, he could actually do this with his tackling. And I say that, six tackling is garbage. But remember where we are. Perspective is super important. Um, <laughs> this is insane. So who have we got out here that might be... So there's a few guys that are injured that put, could potentially play as well. Uh, let me just uh, minimize this for a sec. I just want to add... Their ability and potential over here. Just so we can keep an eye on who's on our bench that might be, like, quite solid, actually. Let me just auto-size. Yeah, so, for example, this guy, this lone E here. Surely he's a better attacking midfielder than... Actually, no, he's not, is he? Although he's a bit knackered, this guy. A few bit of high potential players in there. Oh. We do have a youth team, but any, any player you're seeing on this screen right now is already the whole lot. As in, I have it filtered to show the youth team as well. So, because we don't have enough players... I will figure something out for that, Smithy. I just had to wait to wait and see, essentially. What's up? You did a stupid. What did you do? What did you do? Right. Right. Good. So my mum and dad are giving me ten pounds to cover that, and then I went went and put a single, right? And then it was twelve pounds. Right. Well, there we go. <laughs> so I was stupid. I think that when we were looking in here, it's still. Yeah. Look, I wasn't filtering out unavailable players. So I, I everyone you're seeing was what we had available to us. So this guy here, who's just oh, wait, where's the centre back? So this guy here, actually, like as much as, yes, technically he we could put him at right back, I kind of just want to see what happens with this more than anything else. I, it sounds stupid, I realise, but I just kind of want to see. All can be forgiven, exactly. Like, I realise we can put him there, but I just kind of want to see now. We've built this and I'm just curious. The question is then, what do we do? That will kind of leave kind of basic. I don't want to overdo it there. Um, do we adjust any of the dribbling or do we just kind of leave it as it is? And same with that. I'll leave that as it is. Yeah, just do it. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? In transition. I always like to do... I'm going to do regroup and counter. And I kind of just want my goalkeeper lobbing it. You know, just banging it over the top if we can do. And take long kicks for the same reason, really. This should be, we'll leave that as it is. That will be pretty basic. I might just up the press a tiny bit, but not do too much there and leave the rest completely... Actually, defensive width. Not much we can really do about that, is there? Right, okay. It's a work in progress with our 31411 DM asymmetric DM. Dimpalas, thank you for the follow, man. Yeah, watch this be like the next, like, nap tactic or something. Player's currently unhappy. Well, I'm sorry, Aproceus. Knuckle down. Create two more tactics. Yeah, just create two more tactics. Easy, mate. No problem. <laughs> I'll just pull them up my ass. <laughs> like, it's not as simple as that. 
Show inside? You've got all players inside. Inside what? What am I looking... I don't understand what, you're, what you mean. Inside. <laughs> Atrocious. At this rate, he is, yeah. At this rate, he bloody well is. Oh, in the middle of the pitch. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, actually, that's a really good point. Thank you. So we want... Yeah, that's what we want. That's a really good point. That's... Yeah, no. Sorry, I understand what you meant now. Uh, so... I'm... We're going to have to... The last thing I want to do is change this just because you know how easy it is to piss people off. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want to change these just because the last thing we want is messing the squad up right now. He's a great leader, just not very well liked. Yeah, he's a dictator. Well, that's a good question, actually. So let's look. Media pred Well, hang on. We'll look at this. So we're expected to come eighth, and the media prediction is weirdly fifth. Um, Now, what we can do... Oh, where is it? Is it in... There's, oh, where's that bloody... There used to be... Ah, yes, here we go. Oh, wait, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so you can see that in, obviously, in certain areas, like, obviously, it doesn't take so much into account. Goalkeeper's not great. Defense, very good teamwork. Sort of average-ish and a low on a few things. So we're not great jumping reach. Physicals, really good balance. Uh, excellent stamina, too. Lacking the jumping reach. We already knew that, though. Uh, great teamwork. Aggression's very high. Great leadership. Good work rate. Okay. Eh, yeah, we're not awful. Not awful. Roy Keane, perhaps, in it. Yeah. What staff do we have? That's a good shout as well, actually. We have currently got... All right, we have no scouts. So the first thing we should do, for me, is get a scout. Like, <laughs> that would be pretty useful if we could just get a scout right now. Uh, so, staff roll. Recruitment. Because we're going to need one. <laughs> to try to fill out this bloody tea. Actually, there's no point in me even... Try to filter it by their, their like, uh, scout filter. Right, what we got? <laughs> uh, there's a 4-4 guy here, but he does lack some of the other stuff. There's a 4-4 guy here. Cabello Chahikia. Chahikika, rather. He's 4-4, four and four, but he has got good adaptability and discipline. Hmm. No physio either. We should probably definitely get one of those. Yeah, decent scout ain't happening, but a scout <laughs> is definitely happening. I'm thinking of going for this guy. Temperamental personality isn't ideal, but at least he's a scout and not a coach. He's got better ability, but no judging potential at all. Uh, yeah, it's all realistic appointments. I am the bow. Yeah, I'm thinking Cabello's the my man. 37 years old. I swear we just turned all this shit off. Mate, are you having a bubble? You want to... Wow, okay, this could be a... Sorry, look at the amount of pay... Look at the wages these guys are on. And then tell me why he thinks that... Okay. Let's try... Sibisiso Kabindu. What? Sorry, you don't even have a job. And you're demanding 12 times what these guys want. Is it because they don't... Do a request for scouts? How do you mean, request for scouts? As in, like, a job advert. That, they'll just bring me the exact same people. Uh, I mean... So, hang on. So, essentially, I just have to steal one of their scouts. Yeah, but the job advert thing will take forever, and you just get the exact same people. Except it's just more confusing. I'd much rather just pick them on the attributes that we've got. But it seems that the only way to actually get a scout is to take one from one of the other clubs. Four-month contract length. Yeah. Which we can't adjust, sadly. Ah. Oh. I'm just going to take Nally Nicodemus because his name is, well, but I would call him Nicodemus to make him sound like a dinosaur. Yeah, max contract length of four months. I'm guessing it's because it's a year and it's done on a yearly basis. So let's see if he, oh, piss off game. Right. Reduce defend duties. Oh yeah, hang on. Wait. Should go with a very, att I've never seen an assistant manager. I've never seen them request that. So obviously we're not going to go balance. I want positive. That's just my standard approach. <laughs> Shit. Right, okay. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Well, that's 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 happening, isn't it? Um. <laughs> I don't suppose you've got any advice for me. No, I didn't think so. Somehow. Okay. Oh. Yeah, my assistant is pretty bad. True. But also remember, I am also pretty bad. Something tells me this is probably not going to be the tactic we end up running with for the rest of this save. But wouldn't it be bloody hilarious if it actually worked? Wouldn't it be? I, right, genuinely, I believe there is ways that you could actually make this work. It's just, this is not it. It would require a lot more. Do we have a doff? We actually do have a doff. Why is IAP so tired? He's just, he's got a hard job, Fiona! right? He's just, I mean, he's actually got really good natural fitness. It depends when our last game was, actually. When was our last game? Four days ago. So maybe there's that. He might, they might have been playing a lot recently. J. Cole, thank you for the follow. Oh, right. Well, I, what it comes down to, Merrick, honestly, is that I will always claim that I'm bad at the game. And I don't I don't think I'm that bad, but I'm certainly, like, mediocre at best. It's just the problem is, the moment you start acting like you know what you're talking about, people use that as a stick to beat you with the moment you're wrong about anything, and it's just pointless. So it's just much easier to be like, I'm shit all the time, and then you just don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. It, it's one of the problems I had back in the day on YouTube, so that's why I just don't even bother anymore. Like, I know I'm not awful at this game, but I also like trying out mad shit like this. Which is why it's part of the fun. Squad number. Who's getting a squad number? Go on, Nathan. Ah, gotta get rid of that. Humble is the way to go. It's, it's not even... I mean, it, it obviously is that by extension, but it's not, like, designed to be like that. It's just more, like, I just can't be asked with the hassle of pretending to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's way easier to do this than it is to pretend to know what you're talking about. Kurdish, thank you for the follow. Right. I love that our system isn't entirely not shaped like an arrow. Patrice? Yes. You're right, this is a cup game as well. <laughs> Me and you, Patrice, we're going to get on. To quote, to quote Robin Shabatsky, damn it, Patrice. Hopefully I won't be saying that today. Tunnel interview. We're actually going to have to do this sort of stuff. Special day. It is a special day. 11 arrows time. Are you confident in the upcoming time? Very confident. Particularly as we, these guys are in the lower division. Imagine if we actually won. God, here we go, chat. Come on. Exactly, Bob. Exactly. Oh, but piss off. <laughs> did I or did I not tell the game to turn this shit off? Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Uh, so, let's... I'm going to actually leave it on extended for this because... Um, because I want to make tactical tweaks. <laughs> right, there we go. Bu -bu uh, replay director. Sounds off. Lol. Not sure about there. TV. Bam. Groundskeeper's doing a phenomenal job, chap. Right. Come on. We're in the yellow, boys. So you can sort of see... Yeah, see... I think we could get away with having this right-sided uh, midfielder push up a bit more, but we'll have to see. Watch us just, like, dominate possession in this game. <laughs> right. North said with the ball over the top. They're going to target that ch that channel, but that's fine. Our goalkeeper's got this. Zwane, you seem unconfident. Mate, he looks like he's never seen a football before. He's looking at it like, what is this? Right, go on, Zwane. Ball over the top. And he's in. He's in behind, and Gombe's in behind, and he scored! 11 arrows take the lead after 10 minutes here. Richard Nangombe gives the arrows the lead. Oh my goodness me. We've scored a goal, chat. It's actually happening. We're winning a football match with this tactic. Zwane with the ball over the top. What a pick out. Great running behind from Nangombe, and it's just a simple finish into the bottom corner, and we lead. Sweeper keeper on attack. I want a deep-lying keeper. Elite striker right there. You've seen it all. It's end-to-end -end stuff. It is. Petrus now. Come on. And the car park goes wild. Exactly. Here we go. Kajuka. Get apart. Oh, a bit of an overlap now from Petrus. He's got men in the box. Can he pick one out? He can. Nangombe. Well, well, well blocked. That was a nice piece of play. You're right. It was. We haven't got any set pieces set up. I'll definitely look for that next time. Uh, ball in. Because that's obviously a nice uh, way of getting some extra stuff. Graves ball in. And Gebhardt's on the end of it. It's 2-0. Ishmael Gebhardt makes it 2-0 to the 11 arrows. Yeah, the keeper lulled them into a false sense of security by pretending to be an idiot. Right, we need some... I'm going to... Right, has anyone got any ideas for emotes, firstly, so I can sort them out for Tuesday? I'm thinking we need an 11 arrows emote, obviously. What a ball. Gebhardt on the end of it, 2-0. Quality of grass is not realistic. Hey, it's clearly like this in the Namibian leagues. Unai Simon, yeah. <laughs> Hey, if they can't get through our state, if they can't get through our system, then, uh oh, Henock. Hopefully they won't play a ball to the back post. <laughs> but look, 
Guraib is the right midfielder, is tracking the runner. That's all we need from that position. Like, that's all we need him to do is just to hopefully keep an eye on the guy. He's not always going to do it, but that's kind of what we're... So we're playing as 11 Arrows. They're a team in the Namibian Premier Division. Uh, that's that's where we've ended up is in Namibia. We're currently operating in a system that doesn't have a right back in it because the club literally has none. Uh, so we decided to see if we can make a tactic that doesn't have a right back in it. <laughs> because reasons. Oh, Nangobe's in again. Good save. Man mark that position. Maybe. That's actually genuinely not a bad thought. Because we can do that on the... Where's it gone? Or can you only do that prior to the game? I swear you used to be able to go to positions on here. Or is that not possible until you're... Regardless. Um, so it's this guy here, isn't it, really? <laughs> Sweeper, keeper, cover. We want a covering keeper. In players. Uh, what do you mean, in players? Hang on, am I being stupid here? I'm sure I am. Look at opposition. Oh, yeah, sorry. What I mean is, like, um, you can set that up in here as well. So before the... Yeah, but that's only going to change it in this game. Like, what I mean is, you can set up before games in here. You can actually go into positions in here and get them to permanently mark people in that role. That's what I was trying to point out. This is just... Yeah, it does the same kind of thing. It's just a bit more... Uh, uh, where are we? Edit. Man mark. Oh, no, hang on. Position. Ah, so they have a... He's their left midfielder, isn't he? That's the guy we really want to go after. Now, obviously, if they choose to use left backs, <laughs> we may have a problem. But right now, happy days, boys. We've started off all right here. Solid performance so far. A few little chances carved out. See what we got. Right, this is where it could get interesting. Llewellyn's got the ball out on the left-hand side now. So one of our centre-backs is going to have to come across and fill this in. Like that. <laughs> and then Guraib will come back. Perfect. And then we can slowly build our way out from the back again. Goes over the top, and that's fine. Yes, as in, if you go into... You can actually set those same kind of instructions prior to the game and do it for positions rather than individual players. That's what I mean. But I didn't know if you could do that during the game, but apparently you can't, interestingly. So Zwane should just try another one over the top here, really, because Ngumba is in again. This... Oh, he's offside, but I, I'm loving your work, Nangombe. This man, he's making some very intelligent runs, and the keeper is actually picking them out. Oh, the chocolate orange twirls bear are absolutely fabulous. Right, this is where it's key. So he's tracked Llewellyn, and he's won the ball. Perfect. Oh, distribution is working. Well, I figured in these leagues, you kind of just want to play the percentages, and distributing over the top like that doesn't always work, but it can work. We're not always going to be able to build up every play perfectly. Here we go. Slip him through. Here we go. Jeb Hart's through. Can he shoot, maybe? Good block. He was born in Zambia, really? There we go again. Flicked over the top. But once again, Guraib is doing a great job. Right mid is knackered. That's fine. We'll get to half time. It's all good. What a pass. Uh, what a pass. Oh my goodness me, Nangombe. I tell you what, I, I think pass into space maybe, chat? What are we saying? Or is maybe just leaving it as it is for now? But I do feel like pass into space could definitely be an option here. Because there is mountains of it. That definitely seems to be our way through. So everyone's doing okay. Nobody's doing appallingly. The right mid is actually doing excellently. Yeah. Well, this, this is the thing. Sometimes I find, and I've made this mistake in the past, you'll see something that you really like, but then when you actually try to force it through that method, you actually find you get worse because what's actually happening is that we're waiting for our moments before launching it into space rather than trying to do it all the time and you can actually get worse by doing that i found that when i was trying to force crosses to the back post from my really tall uh on running winger if you do it too often then you can actually make it less effective it's, it's kind of weird how that happens that's why i'm on extended here as well by the way um we'll, we'll speed that highlight package up once we get to oh it is a lower league club of course yeah but the point is the skill gap in the namibian lower leagues is going to be very very minimal as Ngombe is in again and he smashed us as 3-0 up richard Ngombe, what a man so i think you're, you're right astral fang but i'm also like i bet you if we looked at their players they wouldn't be that much better uh, that much worse than ours they probably wouldn't have the, the two standouts that we have but i imagine the rest of their squad is very similar to ours 
in general. Nangombe's through and we're 3-0 up. Nangombe is looking superb. Uh, fitness levels are definitely not ideal right now, but yeah. Make the pitch massive. Oh, true, yeah. We've been very, very accurate so far. Come up to half time. Three goals to the good. Right, now he's out of position, but he's going to track the run and cover off the position. They literally cannot pass the ball out here because he's just sitting on him. It's It's great. Imagine if this actually worked tactically. Plus, remember, we're giving up um, space on this side of the pitch by forcing him back, but it's also going to allow us to dominate the center of midfield because we're going to have extra bodies in there, which is going to make it really difficult for them to play it through that center of the pitch. And as long as we have decent enough center backs that can just clear stuff, we're forcing them or sort of just into that like melee so now they've got space but you look he's just sat right on him they cannot pass the ball out there and if they do he'll either win it although he has actually given up a chance here there you go every now and then he's gonna make a few mistakes but it's definitely interesting yeah skill gaps in lower leagues are very minor did they not have a shot there or was that offside i guess it must have been offside 33 degrees as well by the way friends happy with that first half so who's played poorly so far just having a little look so the Carriero is not, not doing brilliantly. The winger on the left, actually, Kachiyoi Kua is doing a bit of a struggle bus. And, okay. So winger on attack. I'm trying to force the ball to the left-hand side. Is it because he's bad at dribbling, maybe? No. Okay. And does he dribble more often? Yes, he does. That's fine. That's fine. Right now. Yeah, temperature in my room at the moment is 29 degrees. Which is insane. Yeah, it, it, it is, but I'm just, like, at the end of the day, this is not going to be a tactic that you can take and win the African Champions League with, of course. Um, you can, <laughs> we're not expecting to win, like, mad trophies with this. It's just a sort of stopgap. But also, I love doing this because sometimes you find yourself in a position where you're forced to play a certain style. And I like to be in those positions sometimes because then you can kind of, uh, you can, at that point, you can, it's hard to explain. It forces you out of your comfort zone. That, that's that's what I mean. Like It forces you out of your comfort zone. You, you're forced to try to produce a tactic that's a little bit obscure. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of that. It's a good ball in, actually. It's clear away. Yeah, we can definitely make some uh, ground from set pieces. Um, I will sort out some set pieces off stream. It makes you get creative. It does, exactly. And plus, the stakes are a lot lower where we are, which means that there's less punishment for being creative. That's a really good goal, actually, from Matasoli Nicodemus. Fair one. That's exactly it. We could, like, I'd be tempted to just stick with it and just expand out and pick players that actually fit the system. <laughs> at the end of the day, we've managed to win a game at the moment anyway. Exactly. If I played a 4-4-2, we'd probably be fine. But where's the fun in a 4-4-2 when we can play... Well, this absolute monstrosity that we're currently working with. That's a low-quality chance. Hey, that's fine. We let that in. Right, subs time. Katangwe is going to come on on the right, even though he's way worse. But that's, you know, that's just the, the job of the league. Uh, he is... Well, you know it's bad when your assistant doesn't even have, like, an option here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll bring on Njandavera. We'll have to look and see who's actually good for these roles. He has to come off. I'm just going to bring on a striker out left here, even though he can't play there. But not that that makes any difference. We can actually make five subs, can't we? Or is that in the league? Yeah, we're building a, an African powerhouse. It's fine. We've got loads of time. Yeah, no one wants a 4-4-2. 4-4-2, more like boar boar 2 Right. Is that our goalkeeper or theirs? No, that's their goalkeeper. Okay. Right. Oh, nice. He's already on a booking, though, concerningly. <laughs> He's only been on the pitch about five minutes. Can he find a good cross, though? A rare 4 a forward. And Gebhardt's header is over the crossbar. Do have a left mid playing at CL. Oh, we could flip them over. Actually, at this point, I might as well just leave it. Because otherwise, we'd then end up with a striker at CM, and I'd rather have the striker on the left, even if he is probably on the wrong foot. Oh, here we go. Nangombe with the free kick. It's a bit far out. Dinks it through, but he might get back to the rebound. Yeah, you can definitely see where the breakdown of set pieces could be a way through us, potentially. But that's fine. A WM. Hell yeah. Oh, hello. Maleski's in. Good save, keeper. I mean, sure, but like... There's always one in there. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, um... It doesn't matter for the rest of this game. We'll sort it out prior to the next game. <sighs> I don't see us conceding twice in the next nine minutes in this match. Uh, 
Oh, we can make one more star. Fuck it, we'll do it anyway. We're winning anyway. One thing I would also say is look at the score lines in the other games in this cup. They are also featuring a lot of the teams in the top flight against lower league size. And as far as I can see, there's no real hammerings going on, which again suggests to me that I was right about the skill gap thing. Oh, edge of the box here. Go on, Jeff Hart. Strange choice. We are at 11 arrows. So like, see, look, it's all like very narrow results. Even with teams like Black Africa, who are one of the bigger sides in the country. Alado Pirates are struggling to beat Tigers who aren't even in the second tier. Like, so it's, yeah. Did the journey manager end up managing Man United? Didn't look at the squad too much before taking the job. There's no fullbacks. Wow. Yeah, you could just kind of do it, can't you? Go for goal of the month. Well, you've got to try it at this point. So yeah, we're at 11 arrows. We're in Namibia. The wind-up was quite spectacular, was it not? Yeah. I think this is the end of the game now. They might do. But then... I guess we're going to find out. We'll go to the first league game and get absolutely destroyed. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? Then, we'll, you know, if we only end up doing half a season in Namibia, then we do, you know? That's the beauty of the journey, man, save friendos. You can... We don't have to worry quite so much about getting sacked. That's, that's the great thing about it. We can try things. I think we played all right in that game, to be honest. Quite a few long shots in there, but we can certainly uh, work on that. Hit the target a fair amount, though. Like, it wasn't like we had... Anything over 50% for me in terms of shots on target is usually what I'm looking for. So, we conceded a long shot. Players are happy with that. Nangombe was brilliant. I think he just tired a little bit. What colors are the other kit? I'll, I'll just check. Hang on. First winner's 11 hours manager. We got 100% record chat. Oh, on oh, penalties as well. Do you? Thank you for the follow, man. Uh, so, our kit. We've got a yellow and red job. And then we've got a lovely blue and white jobby over here on the right-hand side as well. Sam, thank you for the follow. Okay, right. Hammer them. I mean, we didn't... I mean, possession was pretty even. That's fine. Code of conduct. Oh, here we go. Go on, Baza. Pick me a good code of conduct. Okay. Okay, so we've not got long before our next game, which is against Oshikati City and then Life Fighters. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, no, we are professional, so I could definitely sort out some training stuff too. Here's a fun Report deduction, well, that's fine, don't care, don't care. Match prep, we'll get that up. The other reason I want one tactic at the moment as well is to help get the familiarity up quicker. A Rooney, thank you for the follow, man. Rest your players. I mean, <laughs> we haven't got enough of squad to rest the team. Like, we've got recovery, and then these are like really low intensity. Actually, pick their own code of color. No, no, no. Ask your assistant. That is going out, by the way. I'm not using that. Uh, the last thing we need is that. I will get some proper training sessions in soon as well. Uh, we'll actually do the press conference. Not long until the end of the season. How not long? I'm actually curious as how many games there are left. Fiona! Ninth place. We're a very good team. Appears to be struggling with fitness. Well, then that's because he's atrocious Petrus, isn't he? Simply. King Rory. Thank you for the follow, man. Time to rest him. Uh, not prepared to discuss. They beat Civics. Our Civics quite good. We're the better team. Yeah. Play that way. Well, hopefully, yes. So if, yeah, sure. I, I guess he does, doesn't he? Number of standout, he, he does. They always ask the same bastard questions. It, he'll be super important, I'm sure. Next year. Why? 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 Are they asking me, the manager of a team in the Namibian top flight, about who's going to win next gen? Why do I care? Fine, you know what? Bakayo Sacco, apparently. Cooper, do not hate me. Indifferent. <laughs> well, I picked him back. Apparently, it does, yeah. Blue Fradge, thank you for the follow, mate. 19. So we've got 11 games to go. Okay. In fact, let's just see. Yeah, 30 games. Makes sense. Yeah, because it's 16 teams. So we're in no relegation danger. What was our expectation? Was it top half? Mid table. I'm never sure on what counts as mid-table. Like, what range of positions they consider mid-table. Because obviously with different league sizes, it changes. Atomic, thank you for the follow. Uh, nothing yet, no bear, sadly. What country? We are in Namibia, Hayden. Right, so one thing I do want to quickly do with the tactic is go into opposition instructions and go into positions. Like, this is what I mean. Uh, although... Actually, this would make more sense if we actually did put a, a permanent instruction on the player. Because otherwise we can end up with someone else doing it. We don't really want that. So I'm going to put it on RM, uh, sorry, an AML. Because if there is an AML, if, if there's a standard ML, then so be it. We may have to switch it during the game. But it's the same. You can't do an OR on those. But that's fine. Um, we might do the pass into space thing in the next game. We'll test it. It takes time. 
I want to make one change at a time, basically. They probably do, actually, yeah. Just that, just that one position. <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah, I only do press conferences because I kind of have to at this point. Hulk mode. Let's crack out a bit of Hulk mode. Hulk mode. Up the Namibians. There we go. Oh. So we're away next, too. I mean, it's not like I can really afford to put any players in this game. Hopefully, though, a youth intake will help us massively. When is our youth intake, actually? That's a good question. Coaching assignments. Uh, Sure, yeah, we'll do that. Let me just check. Why am I stretching? It, was, it wasn't It was yoga. <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely love that yoga, but I think they might get in trouble if I put them in the game, to be fair. <laughs> uh, what was I going to check? I've literally forgot. Oh, yeah, youth intake. I just want to see when it is. March. Oh, great. That's great. Because that means we'll actually get a load more players come through in March. And genuinely, with the quality of this squad, we might actually get players who are, like, first team ready straight away. Particularly if we're having a golden generation. Any coaches on staff? We do, actually. Yes. We actually amazingly do. And actually have the best goalkeeper coach in the league. Uh, we will also get a physio. Green Roma kit. Yes, Siri has, like, no, mate. Not allowed. So I'm going to get us a physio, too, just so that we've got one. Not like we'll be able to get a physio with more than, like, five. Oh, actually, six. Although... Watch him want like £120 a week. Yeah. 106. But I could just go and poach this guy. But So it's actually going to be easier for us to take them from other clubs because of their expected wages. Oh, dear. Did I say European football? <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. I'm going to say things like qualify for Europe quite a lot in this save. Most of people surprised that Power Dynamo. Power Dynamo's. Why are you asking me questions about the Zambian Premier League? <laughs> As is a green test world. Okay. I know. I don't know what they're going to do about that, to be honest. Most of the rest of this season is just going to be us making one tactical switch per game. Or maybe per half. To see what works and what doesn't. It's all I normally do. Wait, what? Ah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So, this happens to me on OTI. If you... um come in and say there will be no change to the backroom staff. They don't mean you're not allowed to sack anyone. They mean even if there's slots, you're not allowed to fill them. Good. How long does that last? So we're not allowed to have any scouts. <laughs> Brilliant. Br Brilliant. So who is actually providing these reports is my question. The DOF. Okay. That's not the end of the world, actually. So what I think I am going to do is set a general focus to... Uh, can you? I just kind of want younger players just because... Actually, no, wait. To be fair. Who needs scouts? Yeah, it's fine. Ask it off for recommendations. Yeah, no. That's what I'm going to do. But we have I'm not sure what to even look for in terms of recommendations just yet. Uh, not that strong, no, Hayden. Uh, it's in, like, the bottom set of leagues, I would say. Yeah, this is this uh, Anglo-Japan. Mm. Scout some scouts in it, though. <laughs> yeah. Sign a Bappe. Sort it, mate. Let's get on it. Uh, hang on. Let me just firstly let me just set this up better because this is gonna bug me otherwise. Uh, trial is two weeks because we're gonna do a lot of trials. It's gonna be a great way of doing our scouting. Most of our scouting is gonna be done through scouts. Uh, <laughs> the floor here is made of floor. Most of our scouting is gonna be done through trials. Is what I mean to say. Uh, Tell me I'm wrong, chat. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, I also want the filters to go straight into my scouting center so no stuff goes directly to the inbox because you know how much of a pain in the ass that can be. All right. Every 60 seconds a minute passes. So I'm told. Preach it, baby. <laughs> you, I'm coming here to spit hard facts, boys. So we should... Let's just, just see. See who's interested. There's 49 lads. That's just... That's it. <laughs> Anyone who's not got a club. There we go. Oh, wow. They're trash. Actually, to be fair... This should be really helpful at the end of the season. So, I think... I think we trial him. Bring him on trial. Get Freedom in here. Try a scout package. Ah... Uh, yeah, I mean, we can do that. How much money do we have, actually? 
I see. <laughs> Our scout budget is 3,000. So actually, if I just turn that on briefly, we might... Well, that's all the players that don't have clubs. Yeah. Did you get that from the thanks for doing your job? I did actually, yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's going to be... Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. We'll do that. I, I just wanted to see. But as you can see, there's still no... We really need to wait until the end of the season because a load of players will get released by their clubs and we should be able to hoover up some quality. But right now, there's very few players that don't already have clubs because remember the way that this league works, the way that uh, FM works is that when you join a league, if it doesn't have real players, it will generate players for the clubs. But there's going to be very few free agents generated because there's no reason for them to be generated, if that makes sense. So it's going to take a little bit for it to populate it with actual free agents. So yes, we are in Namibia, Maris. Let me just turn that off for a sec. Uh, but I do want to trial that other guy. It's not going to be an instant thing, basically. But we are going to bring in Freedom and Goddess Because I'm curious about him. And he's a forward, which isn't really ideal, to be honest. I'd rather he wasn't. Yeah, I just turned the package off. Okay. Finishing's... Like, we don't know much about him yet. Usually it takes two weeks. Uh, well, we won't be able to find out, Lard Lad, because we can't scout them. As in, like, our scouting package, maximum we're allowed is Namibia. So anything I can see there. Yeah. So we can't look for, like, other... We won't be able to look outside of Namibia, basically, in terms of for players at the moment. It's just not going to happen. Uh, okay, right. Okay, that's interesting. He wants to make changes this time. Why is that? Our midfield could definitely do some work. They're at least a little bit fresher this time. The ball be like, what is a scout exactly? Hello, Danny. No, that's what I mean, Dirk Karanji. The free agents won't get generated. So back. the well, reason why there's no free agents is because the game wouldn't have generated any. The only way we're going to get free agents is waiting for the game to release players at the end of the first season, which is what we're about to enter. So that's why there's no free agents available. The only free agents there are ones that are already free agents in the game, essentially. Spanfer! Thank you for the follow, man. What the hell is that tactic? It's a tactic we've been forced into on account of the club not having any right backs. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't explain myself very well there. Okay. We try again. I'm Super. interested to see what Gorosev's actually like. Yeah, we are starting Shurpolo. So they're playing the same. We're going to see a lot of the same shapes in this league, which is actually fine because it'll help us with um, Gurarab trying to follow them. Streaky Robbo, thank you for the follow. That's a good question, Dan. We can do that. The problem with that is it'll make us hard to scout them because we actually can't. <laughs> didn't even have to like yeah <laughs> we've already had a good old look at manchester united macgyver danny <laughs> we already knew that he'd be the top assister in the league as one of the first it was probably one of the things that made us want to come to namibia in the first place was manchester united macgyver uh the shorters oh yeah it's um x makes mark filters uh bam there you go that's how you get the um if you're thinking if, hang on, let me just make sure we're on the right page here. As in these, where I use them for each position. That's, yeah. It's got to oh, Could we get Manchester United MacGyver? I bet we can't. Oh, Manchester. <sighs> Shame. A lot of these players, this contract will be expiring. I think what we might do after this game is have a look at what Dan said about the players whose contract is expiring. No, no, his name is Ace. Yeah. Uh, Ace Gurarib is his name. Uh, he's, a, he's a regen, but born in Walvis Bay, which is where the club is based anyway. Speaking of, we didn't have a little look at the actual surrounding area, did we, chat? Need to pull that up on Google a little bit. PSG Poirot. I particularly liked the earlier one. Uh, Inter Milan Colombo. Big fan of that. Isn't there a new version of MacIver these days? MacIver? MacIver these days. We might be able to. To be fair, you can generally offer trials to... You can offer trials to anybody... But most of them won't accept. But we could give it a bit of a scattergun and see what happens. Because you can see how, like, disparate this team is because of the couple of really good players. And then everyone else is kind of shit. So, but remember, we're getting a youth intake next month. So we should at least be able to fill the squad out with some quality in there. Get your maps out, boys. Right. Let's go. So I only, I didn't make any changes this time around. I'm going to see what happens. Oh, is he? Excellent. Our stadium name. What is our stadium name? It is the Quis hang on, Quis Edmund Stadium in Walvis Bay. 4,000 capacity, allegedly. It's fun last watching my guy there. Yeah, fairly simple, to be fair. Right. Let's see if any... So, 
Pumlani and Lovo is a big fan. What is it with our, our centre back here? Go on, Patrice. Show me something. Ah, oh, Patrice, mate. Come on. Oh, the goalkeeper's up for it this time. Better. Instantly a better reaction from the squad. You'll love it. Oh, it's ended. Five seasons. God damn. Right, this is going to be an interesting one. Not good enough. Well, you do better then. Kamahilo. Oh, wow. Holy shit, look. I didn't even know the game had that texture. That's awesome. Huh. Yeah, our youth and tape will just be off. It's a golden generation, allegedly. Look at this. This is cool. I've literally never seen those textures before. They're palm trees, but look, it's even got like this sort of Moroccan style uh, buildings. There's a name for it. I can't remember what it's called. That looks really cool, doesn't it? I didn't know FM even did that. Okay. Fair play to SI for actually modeling that sort of stuff. That is amazing. Look at this. This is actually legit impressive. Well, to be fair, Namibia is quite a, a dry place, is it not? I'm going to be so interested to see how we get on in this game. Bearing in mind the system we're actually playing here. Oh, here we go. Good Aib with the free kick. Oh, and it's tipped over the crossbar. Is that over the... No, it hits the bar, in fact. Ocean in the background too? Yeah. Lovely houses. Couple of little shots in the opening 10 minutes here. That's fine. I think I actually hit the bar, or maybe the keeper tipped it onto the bar. I don't know. Looking defensively fairly stable right now. Here we go. Yeah, leagues aren't even in the game and have the textures. I think it's because the textures are for the area rather than the leagues themselves, essentially. Um, but we'll see. Ball down the midfield. Easily mopped up, and we go again. It's going good, Ollie. It's going very good, actually. Gephardt on this left-hand side, driving into the box. Pulls it across. Oh, it's just wide from Zal. Oh, that was a chance. Hang on. Sorry. Why is... It's just occurred to me that Richard Nagombe isn't starting through the middle. Actually, to be fair, Zal, despite a lack of speed, does have extremely good finishing. But doesn't um, Nagombe have... Actually, to be fair, Nagombe's not much quicker. It's got a bit of acceleration, but that's about it. Good header, though, from Zal, nearly. My nationality in the save is Norwegian as a result of uh, see Eric Sandberg's. So my assistant wants to work more under the box. Okay, we'll, we'll consider it. No, no, I have every league you can imagine loaded, Stealthy Assassin. Like, literally every league you can imagine. In Africa, that is, anyway. Uh, loaded up to the save. So 50-something leagues. We turned a couple off just uh, uh, because we couldn't actually manage in them anyway. Yeah, probably because of the the um, national teams, exactly. So a subdued first half from us, but defensively pretty bloody stable, in fairness. So I'll take that. How many players have you charged? I don't really understand. I, I realize it's probably a typo, but I'm trying to figure out what... Look, what a company... All right, Ryan. All right, Ryan... Yeah, Zal, probably going to get him off. Hey, Shan. We're getting a Gombe on at halftime. They're basically much of a much at this point. No, that's true. But like the way SI does it. So in the database, if you look in, it will talk about the uh, climate as a funk. So the clubs actually will be the places, the towns that the clubs are based in actually have attributes themselves. And one of those attributes is to do with the climate. So that's how it's doing it, basically. Well, we actually had an offer potentially from a Seychellois uh, club. Tiva, but annoyingly they didn't get back in touch with us before we had to make a decision on this one. It was a team called uh, Red Star Defense Force. Okay, if we took a nil-nil draw away, I wouldn't be actually that fussed. And it would give me some ideas as to what to do, because defensively, they look at the size compa look at the size difference. He may as well be his dad. Look at the size difference between those two players. <laughs> Laxman is about to get himself booked. Red Star Defense Force is a great name, but Eleven Arrows is a pretty good name as well. Okay, we've got to be careful from set pieces here. I think we can make a lot of ground just with some decent set piece plays as well. Okay, Campbell in goal here for Osh Oshikati City, but we might be able to... Okay, that's fine. Pressure them up a little bit. Everybody looks pretty compact in that midfield. We're not giving up a lot of space. We're in Namibia, Ollie, at the moment. Oh, African club names are the best. Go on, get in on him. Don't let them score with their first shot on target, please. Chill. Right, he's made the run. Engelbrecht is into the channel, but look, he's being tracked by the defensive winger. Oh, the height comparison there. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, their first real opportunity of the game. They're definitely trying to exploit that spot, which makes sense. They are actually playing a slightly different shape to the team we played in the cup. Right, maybe now is the opportunity to try the pass into the space idea. Hey, Hoditz. 
it has been fun so far, I'd say. Oh, let's just press that. And make some subbies, I think. Could Shililuli won the best player in South Africa? Really? Okay, we'll get... It's annoying that we have to do this, but unfortunately, with I'm hoping the fixture congestion calms down in a bit. Ooh, Petrus has done really poorly. Maybe we're underutilizing him. I do wonder if we could actually get him to be a bit more aggressive than that. Maybe even do that. Just completely... Because we've actually got cover here. Get Gebhardt further up and get Petrius to actually bomb forward a little bit more. <laughs> it looks so stupid, man. I love everything about it. I love everything about it. I might just do that, actually. But I think there's more we can get out of Petrus. His name sounds like Petrus. I'm a big fan. We've already better substitute there. Now I'll leave it as it is. Leave the players as they are. Let's see. Get him a bit further forward. I worry that he might be uh, a little bit too defensive. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, over the bar. Don't you just my formation? Build something better. I dare you. <laughs> oh, it's a ball in. Cleared away. That's fine. Laxman's onto it. Come on. Ah, we tried. We thought about doing the cover idea, but then we decided not to in the end. Come on. Ball in. Talk shit on my formation again. I dare you. <laughs> Come on. Get part with the goal. Oshikati City take the, the L here. <laughs> I'm only joking, by the way. <laughs> I'm just messing about. Oh, come on. Great ball in from Ace out on the right-hand side. A great cross. He's mismatched the defender. And it's a wonderful header from Gebhardt to make it 1-0 to the 11 arrows. Climbs without the C. Damn right. It's a terrible performance from every team on the pitch right now. And that's totally fine by me. I might actually... Oh, okay. They switched things up. No, they haven't. Right, that's fine. They are... Uh, they were above us in the league. They were, I believe, one or two places above us in the league before this match. As we've, uh, as you can see, we've actually, we would leapfrog them with this result if we were to get it. Currently, anyway. Praise be, yeah. Offset gods, boys. Interesting, by the way. We scored that the moment I moved Gebhardt up to a, um, an attacking, play, uh, like an attacking wide role rather than a standard midfield role. Because it had, it meant we had an extra player in the box. It kind of uses some of the same logic I use for my, um, Sassuolo tactic. Because it means there's one extra player to aim for those back post crosses. And he wasn't making the runs before. Great again. He's going for Nangombe! What a strike! Richard Nangombe! And that change has made a massive difference, chat. It's 2-0 to the 11 arrows. And Richard Nangombe scores his third goal of the season already. That is a great finish. But look at the assists we're getting from our defensive winger. He's doing all the defensive duties of one side. It reminds me of Regan Booty on my Bolton save. The way that we had a solo oh, player on that role. Come car. on, it's 2-0 to the 11 arrows. Stealthy Assassin, thank you for the follow, man. Wow, I am amazed that we've actually managed to currently do this. Uh, I think Gebhardt's going to take a little rest now for uh, Monk, for Morgan. And maybe... Wow, we need that youth intake bad, boys. We'll get him on as well. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Come on, lads. This is where you need to be strong. Don't give up a goal now. Oh, what a save from Swane! Come on. West Ham United, thank you for the follow, my friend. I hope you're well today. We're 2-0 up away from home with this mad-ass system. I, I just can't believe this. Petrus now out on this left-hand side. Here we go. Building it up. Men on the edge. Ngombe got another chance. I think that was the play. It's weird. They've actually allegedly had some chances here, but I haven't really seen much of them. That's his actual name. It's West Ham United MacGyver. Kayembe with the ball through. Well picked up by Nangombe. He's unfortunately lost it with his poor first touch. He's a definitely a better striker for me, Nangombe. We've looked better when, since he came on for Zal. We've still got time to lose this game, though, remember? Like, this is not over yet if they do manage to see. That's the key. But look, good Aib, straight in on it. Didn't actually win that one, but the goalkeeper's there. Oh. Focus area attacks. Which graph? Hang on, I have to see. As in the one in our little side panel. Ah, oh, I can't see it. Which graph are we looking at? Probably not. National team saves are just not interesting for me. Because they don't work properly. Is that going to be a red card for Oshikati City? It could be. It is! Levis Munje Mujenje has been sent off. <laughs> Incredible. We're 2-0 up. And now they're down to 10 men. 
80% is coming down your right hand side. Oh. Didn't work for them, did it? It's then gone based in, and it was nearly 3 0. <laughs> this is a performance, friends. I'm amazed. Blint. Oh, cleared away. What do you mean they don't work? As in, they are boring and are just not well built in the sense that there's so many, like, features in national team saves that are completely ruined. Uh, so they are just unfun, sadly. Oh, intercepted. Here we go. Another chance for us, maybe? Can he find, can he find Richard again? He's found Richard again. I thought that was going in. I thought that was going in. <laughs> I'm genuinely amazed. Good read around. Oh, he's gone short. Go on, Shivute. Take it on, son. Look how they've got every player back. I thought that was in, yeah. So did I. Next to Euros, got super realistic. Uh, no, I haven't seen anything like that. Um, yeah. My, my issue with... Uh, we've talked about it before with national team saves is that so many of the features don't work. There's so many, so many quality of life things they could do, but they don't. Uh, Shiva Vute... What a chance that was. He could have done so, Petrus. Morgan, that's cleared away. Basil, thank you very much for the 100 bits, my friend. Would I take an international... Well, what did I just say? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, because it's not a national team safe. But yeah, so no. No no national team stuff because it's just... It's so unfun. Um, unless it's Guam for one stream, it just isn't fun. English chances next year? Come on, mate. <laughs> thank you, Basil, man. Wow. We won. We won 2-0 away from home. Up the arrows. 2-0 victory at Oshikati City. That's massive, chat. And I think that... Well, we know what made the difference in that game. You saw it. No, I'm just kidding. It's the right full send. Um, I just don't find them very interesting. There's so many things that they could do to make them fun, but yeah, sadly not. Like, to give you an example, when we were managing Guam, our assistant, if you ask him to help you pick a squad, he was picking a 13-man squad for a, a tournament that required a 25-man squad with a minimum of 15 players. Like, shit like that. It's so simple to fix it. But, yeah, stuff like that is just infuriating because you can't rely on your assistant to help you in any way and all the way you pick players from the national pool, it's all just horrendous. Right, so we're up to... Wait, we're up to ninth now. We've got a bit of a gap ahead, but that kind of keeps us safe, I'd say, from relegation. Big chance now. Doritos do be clogging the ears in truth. Yeah. Ace Gorari. Hang on. Has he already got... He's got three assists in two games. Like, that is a really strong sign for me. Go on, lad. Really happy with that. Yes. Go on, son. Right. Uh, press conference. We're going to go and shit the bed. Arrow army. Hell yeah. The world is strictly me good, man. The world is strictly me good. We've actually managed to win both of the games at this club with a tactic that should not work. <laughs> Why is he downcast? Was he an Oshikati City fan or something? How good. He was sensational. He's going to be so key for us. And we've got him on a new contract soon, hopefully. Was he that good? <laughs> hopefully he's not too old. Yeah. He's a, de he's a defensive winger on defend who's got three assists in two games for us. A just insane. I can't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so, I mean, the databases are available to download, yeah. Uh, you can you've can you been always been able to download them, but uh, if you mean this exact save, then yes. that You can download the save file. The databases you can download yourself from anywhere. Because um, obviously they're not my databases. <laughs> See, there's a flash of some rope. Not anymore, I'm not, mate. Oh, no. Okay, good. Ah, another sign. Oh, yes, please, then. That'd be lovely. Another sign that your tactics aren't horrendous is you, the way your team... Hang on, are we actually... I just want to make sure that our under 20s team is actually yeah okay good um like obviously a poor performance there because of the red card but unless you're getting hammered it's a good sign chelsea won 6-1 i guess who <laughs> uh right what was i gonna do oh yeah tactics yeah physical training sessions we'll sort that section. so what i'm gonna do is move him up to there because that made a massive difference when we did that so training individual and uh, not individual sorry uh calendars schedules Right. What I want to try and do is import, hopefully. Uh, we want no match. Good. We want... Uh, wait, do I have to save it? You can. Yeah. Hmm. 
So what would you say is the better one to use here? A Tiki Taka one or, or a Gagan Press one? I think I'm going to go with the, the Gagan Press one because we we're not really playing Tiki Taka at all. So we'll load that in. I'll, I'll probably find some more actually because they do have more. It's just these are the ones I've been using so far. And we'll go Tiki Taka 2 matches just in case. And we'll save that. There we go. That will lighten the load dramatically. So I want... It's way too physical there. So I want two matches. And you can see that most of the stuff is like really low intensity. Yeah, I think the Gagan Presser one is the one. I'll, I'll get a proper Gagan Press one um, for two matches in a bit. But for now, we'll just go with these. I can sort this out off stream. So, strike on the right-hand side. Particularly now with that, that could actually make more sense. To be fair. See you later, Plateau. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Yeah, no, I heard about that, Tiva. I was I was sort of surprised to see it even as a playable database, essentially. Obviously, Zal won't start the next game because Richard's starting for sure. Yeah, that's actually fine because then it actually makes it slightly more balanced. Slightly more balanced, <laughs> he says. <laughs> right near me, Blackburn Rovers. Is he? Wow. Playing Tetris. Playing a little bit of Tetris, yeah. Hey, you can't diss the tactic when we've won both games with it. <laughs> it's just not a possibility. Basically, the reason for the tactic is because we don't have a right back. Any right backs. So, we literally were forced into try something. What's up? I never said you were. <laughs> uh, tactics. He is right footed and more importantly, Richard. I think I saw him take both shots with his right foot is right only, which is fine. Yeah, we got, we're got we we're going off against life fighters now. Does this uh, schedule ever, like, ease up at all? Okay, good. Right, so it's not going to be, like, super intense forever. We're going to at least be able to chill a little bit. Have a fierce run. That's a good question. Let's have a look. No. We'll make our own fierce rivals. It's fine. Star right back in the youth intake. Sell him. Sell him. I'm committed now. That's the beauty of it. Excellent. So Ace has just signed a new two-year deal. And boy, oh boy, am I happy with that. Because now we can rely on him on that right-hand side. Come on. I'm excited to see what our youth intake is going to look like. This is, yeah, bear, bear in mind, we've won two games and they've both been away. Yeah, retraining as a defensive winger actually isn't the worst idea in the world. If we were to get a right back. Because he'd actually have most of the attributes in theory that we'd want. We've overscored our XG a little bit. And of course, they don't want me to sign anybody. That's fine. Concrete handling. That's cool. Our youth intake is March. So we don't know exactly when. But... Yeah, that's the thing. Once those 11 straight lines come along, we're going to be fucked. But right now, we're in the money. Uh, they want to keep switching those two around. I'll sort that when we get to the game. We need to learn about who's good and who isn't. But we can get a lot of that information just by playing and seeing in the games. Uh, I'm going to keep it on extended highlights for a bit. Like, until we're actually sort of to start get genuinely happy with the tactical shape. Plus, with this game, we're trying out two new things. We've got the striker offset and we've got the um, pushed up left midfielder, which I think definitely makes sense. Ace deserves all the credit in the world. So that's going to be our tests for the full game here. Uh, I bet you they won't go for anything, Joga. <laughs> An arrow shuffle. To be fair, like... It's... Oh, I can't even pretend. If anything, it looks like a guy balancing on a rail. <laughs> oh. Go on, Clarky. What did you get? Oh, okay. They keep wanting to put Workborn to the box on. And honestly, I might be tempted to remove hit early crosses in a bit and just try and be a little bit less extra. Because <laughs> I think we might be giving away too much of the ball. But again, this game, we're going to test out Winger Pushed Up, which we saw worked in the second half last time, and then Striker Offset. But I'm not going to play... Uh, Ngombe will start. He'll have to come off, but I'd rather start him. How's it going with this guy? Okay. It's going to require a bit more uh, stuff. That's fine. Right. Okay, cool. We go. We go again. No, it's the weirdest thing. Oh, go on. Is it the system? Because <laughs> for me, that's the weirdest thing. Okay. 
Oh, grab a screenshot. Nice one. Was it something from the save? We're in sixth in the form standings. Why are they not reacting? I sp Why are they not reacting when I specifically ask them to? Hey, Vaughn. <laughs> one, two games. <laughs> that will be my response, literally, at this point. <laughs> hey, Vaughn. Uh, sure. Arthur Wolf, what a name. Uh, sure, we've got great mutual respect. Oh, okay, cool. How's your afternoon going, Vaughn? Right. Okay. Let's go. Wait, what system are they playing? Perfect. Same as the first lot. So that means our man should automatically be on uh, Gottlieb. Gottlieb, what a great name. Ah. Yeah, I'm only parking the car, not a bus. <laughs> the system looks even stupider from this side. It looks like a guy. Hang on. Do you know what it looks like, chat? It looks like an aeroplane. Like a side on photo of an aeroplane. Do you know what I mean? Ben the Viking. Thank you very much for the three months, man. Hey, man, I just love watching while playing myself. Your stream got a lovely atmosphere. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. We do have quite a nice atmosphere, I feel like. And that, that's, all, that's a testament to you lot. You make the, you lot make the atmosphere nice, you know? Um. Oh, chill out more, you know. Come on, we've won two games with the tactic. Not everything has to be an, like min-max, you know? Bit of fun sometimes. That's all we're after. We're playing this system because we don't have a right back and we thought we'd try some funny shit out, you know? It's only a bit of fun at the end of the day. Uh, Gyatso is the thing that I use most of the time, Ollie, uh, to share stuff. Here we go. Get parts going forward again. Can he slip one through, maybe? No, but he has found a pass. Cheeky stuff. Go on, Ngombe. Maybe a long ranger. Slip him in. Hey, that's good. We're building up the play nicely here. It's good uh, you came in summer. In Akal. Winter, oh, it can get oh what a save. Depressing. F. Akal. Thank you for the follow, man. You got Djibouti as well. You got a Reba. Damn it. You lucky bastard. I'm jealous, mate. Although I'm pretty happy where we are, actually, now that we've managed to pull this off. Oh, we've created a good chance so far. Probably could have done better with that, really. And he's been tracked. You see that perfectly. The defensive winger tracked him perfectly there. And like we're going to give up a few chances like that because he will lose his man from time to time. But that's acceptable. And another chance there. Jephart is getting into much, much better positions now. So now we've actually got two players that are legit going to be able to get into good positions for us. Easily won. And we go again. Just sign Trent. Exactly. We need the Namibian Trent. Oh, what a ball. Jepart to the left. Can he find a sh cross for Nagombe? Here we go. <clears throat> like if we win, if we win three games in a row playing like this, I'm not about to think any shit about my tactical decisions. <laughs> Gephardt with the ball in. Lachman takes it. Nagombe's on the end of it, and it's one nil to eleven arrows. Gephardt's popping off. Oh. Hey, Avon. Just like that. Easy, mate. <laughs> This is fun. By the way, I should just stress, I'm only joking about, like, it is mad. I realise that. But sometimes mad can be fun, right? That's part of the fun of FM, in it? Oh, let's have a look. Hopefully we don't score in the meantime or concede. Wait, how did Leicester qualify for the Europe? What the fuck? Yeah, that is weird, actually. That's... Have we just scored again? We have! We've scored again! It's 11 arrows, two, life fighters, nil, and Nangombe has got another one. What a ball through from Lakshman. <laughs> Look at that for a pass. Nangombe with the ball through. Look at this. <laughs> what is going on? I'm legit a bit amazed, to be honest, friends. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, Ollie. It's very dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. FPL team. No, I'm waiting till closer to the season. It's a walk in the park. Apparently it is. Yeah. I just can't believe this. Jephart. Go on, son. He's into the box. Whips it through. Nangombe's in there and it was damn near 3-0. Oh my God. Richard Nangombe is absolutely outrageous. But why are there so many European positions? I thought you, I thought it just sort of shuffled. I didn't think you could actually win extra ones, you know? 
easily cleared downfield. Just think, right, chat, if we're winning and playing as well as we are right now with this current squad, imagine if we could actually get players we want. Nangombe could have had about five goals by now. He is ludicrously good. I just can't believe it. Wait till we play Al Ali. It's going to be a while before we play Al Ali, I must say. Uh, Hannah Moon, now bringing it forward. Okay, now there might be a chance for them because we're going to have to track that run at the back post, which they look like they haven't covered off properly. Leeds won the UCL. Oh, wow. Tactics not important. Oh, dearie. This right here is why I don't even pretend to bother with tactics because no matter what you do, you're always wrong. That's a good goal, actually. Like, it's impossible to please everybody with tactics. You could literally win every game with some mad shit and they'd still be like, eh, but, you know, it's just... Have a bit of fun, you know? It's all a bit of a laugh, isn't it? That's why I don't take FM2 seriously. Spurs won the... So they all won leagues. Um, so, yes, so this will, the streams will all be posted to my second channel uh, in their entirety the day after. Wow, we're a bit unfortunate to only be 1-0 up here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, they will all be up there, hopefully. We really should have been 3-0 up. Ruskin, thank you for the, the gifted sub to disassociative me. That is extraordinarily nice of you, man. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a third goal here to thank you for that personally. Some nice football in the build-up. Heard of the 4-4-2? Never heard of it, mate. Boring. <laughs> Actually, as someone said earlier, there's a lot you can do with that. Oh, it's a good effort. I don't know. It's just... It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Hmm. This is actually... Like, we've been remarkably good in this first half. From an actual... Like, the last few games, we've been winning quite big, but not actually playing all that well. But today, we've played remarkably well. <laughs> Right backless, yeah. Well, that's what I thought, George, yeah. I didn't even think you were allowed five. I thought it was four as the max. But, or is that if someone wins the Europa League and they win the Champions League in the same season, as in, like, two different teams from the same country? Why no right back? We don't have any. <laughs> we, don't have, we literally didn't have any right backs. So we had to improvise slightly. <laughs> Gutierrez with the ball through. And brought down by KMB. Good stuff. Basically, essentially the situation was, Alex, because the club had no right backs at all, I thought I'd just make a right backless system and see if we could make it work. And we've literally so far won every game. It's uh, not what I expected from this. Get Pop might be able to get through his man here. Oh, it's a good effort down low. My name, my name is Matt uh, Rasmus. But you can call me Matt also. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I. if this actually works, I have no intention of buying a right back. <laughs> What's the bet in the youth intakes? Just completely right back. Just full of right backs. Uh, season preview put us eighth, I believe. And the media prediction was fifth, weirdly. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. The, oh, hello. Oh, we might be about to get... Oh, good saves, Wame. Come on. Yeah, all right backs. Can we do the same on the left? Just have a back two. These guys have actually been... Well, they haven't been that good, but they have taken their... Ch wow. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky as all hell. The win's expected then. Deary me. <laughs> uh, we're doing fine. It's no big deal. We're doing all right. Good Lord. Uh, it's the top flight. Oh, dear. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Right, I probably will make a sub or two here just because Nagombe, as good as he's been, is a bit on the knackered side. It's because of the heart. What do you mean? Let's <laughs> get a bit of Hulkma going on. Um, it might well be an expected win, but it's still unexpected if you consider, you know, everything else. Oh, the arrow's broken. They're broken arrows, yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, well, we actually have quite a lot of defenders, I'm noticing. Not that these guys are doing a great job in defense right now. How tall is this guy? I'm just kind of curious because I noticed one of our defenders was... Yeah. <laughs> I noticed one of our defenders was quite a shorty. And it is... Uh, isn't he because he's a left back too? Yeah. So with that in mind, I might... He's 5'10 with decent jumping reach. And he is 6'1". I might actually get Gurarib on here for Unluvu. Even though he's slightly worse in other areas. Just to try to bolster that out a little bit. 
we're going to strike in the place here. Why the hell not? Eh? Uh, you can see where the squad is. There's a, the squad is kind of stacked in certain areas. Ditch the left back. Yeah, left backs are overrated, boys. I'm a bit disappointed, honestly, that we haven't won this game. We've actually played better than we did in the two that we did win. Yeah, we're in Namibia. Hopefully, we can pull this out here. Uh-oh. The thing is, though, the goals they've scored, it's not like they've done that through exploiting the gap in our uh, system, is it? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the beauty of it. They got one from a corner and one from a ball over the top through the middle of our centre backs. Oh, it's in! Oh, how did he miss that? Zol, mate. Come on, buddy. You're better than that. Disappointment. Oh. They are fighting for their life, apparently, yeah. To be fair, they are only four points off the relegation zone. Oh, we were 2 0 up against this lot in 12 minutes. And playing well. Good idea. Oh, go on, Ace. Oh, AC. I was hoping that was the moment he pinged one in. Bring back Richard. Yeah, we might have to at this point. He's just a bit knackered. Hopefully, though, once the uh, fixture congestion calms down a little bit, there'll be room for it. Annoyingly, our best performance of the season is going to end up being the uh, the worst performance of the season on paper. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Still. Oh, no. That's not going to happen, it's is it? Good, Surely uh, not. Shibute. No, he's caught it. Haroon, thank there. you for the follow, man. Oh, well. It happens. It's a two-all draw against Life Fires. Not ideal. We were definitely the better side in this game. It just didn't quite come off there. Oh, the goal from a corner was a bit of a shitter, but that's because we haven't got defensive set pieces sorted out yet. I will sort that. I'm going to thrash my arms. No, they can complain all they want. They are spectacular. The names are gorgeous. It does kind of even out, though, because we were a bit, I'd say, fortunate to win some of the other ones. 21 shots, man. I, would have I, wouldn't, have been I wouldn't have taken it. Yeah, exactly. Failed to see that game from winning positions. How many points you're throwing away? Literally, it's the first time we've done it. Kamohilo, can you calm down, bud? Outrageous. The disrespect. <laughs> What's he on about? <laughs> Are you worried about throwing away points all the time? In the first game that we've thrown away any kind of points? Yep. Life Fighters did well. They had no right to, but they did. You heard it? Negative. Why do they dislike me? <laughs> I haven't even spoken to you before, Beto. Building blocks in place, exactly. Failed to get a win. Sure, whatever, mate. How much did we enjoy? Oh, I love him. Wouldn't... Sp <laughs> I wouldn't even swap him for Robert Lewandowski. Something tells me I might, though. If I had an opportunity, swap him for Robert Lewandowski. But I'm going to say it anyway, just to stroke his ego a little bit. In that sort of form today. Useless, mate. Yeah, the journalists are a bit dodge, aren't they? Not a fan. They all seem to have a negative opinion on me, despite never having spoken to us. Judging off the tactic. Pa. Beto. Useless. Well, I mean, I imagine he'd, he'd probably do all right now, wouldn't he? <laughs> Let's face it. Build upon draw medical center in Dome. Who cares? Oh, wait. Apparently, we have to care. Jesus Christ. Obsessed with inductions, this lot. They should sell ovens. He looks offended by it, yeah. How's he's Namibian? Well, his Afrikaans, I imagine, is going to be fairly... It's going to take him a while. He's like, should we ask for a coaching course? <laughs> They'll probably say no. What? <laughs> All right, fine, I guess. I had more trouble getting Vileshta to give me a coaching course than I just got a Namibian Premier League team to give me a coaching course. Cheers, lads. Lovely. Well, that's good. I was just doing that on a whim. I didn't think they'd actually give it to us. Right, and after... Oh, we're playing African Stars at home next. So this is not a game we'd expect to win. It'd be, it's a shame that we didn't get the points in the last game. I think we could have done better. But Nagombe looked fantastic in the opening stages of that game. We had so many chances. I think it's a case of... If we can... Once we get out of this spell of fixture congestion, we won't have so many tired players. So Nagombe will probably be able to see out more games. Which should mean that hopefully we'll just be able to stay on the pressure. I didn't see anything in that last game that I want to make changes on, given how well we actually played. Like, the goals they scored were just a bit fortunate, and it happens. We probably could have done more ourselves. We were expecting to lose that. That's fine. Ch the chairman... Yeah. Oh, hello. Maybe even cup semi-final. No, quarter-final. Who do we get? Ramblers. All right, they're all top flight sides anyway now, so no matter who we get, it would be a tough one. Homegrown players update. That's fine. Uh, we'll attend the press conference who this man is so dour it's incredible he just dislikes everything about me this lot of won 17 out of 21 
yeah well that's the thing as well like they're still learning this batshit tactic so <laughs> the fact that we're playing that well with the uh immense amount of batshittery that we've done you know is incredible itchy to say i mean we're not though are we these guys are comfortably the best side in this league wait they lost their boss oh wow oh that's why they were talking about power dynamos because they stole african stars boss maybe we can sneak it in there the coefficients are a bit weird um on, i'll show you place yeah i mean jephart would start no matter what he doesn't have physical attributes he's really short and doesn't really suit our center back role i would look at that to be honest so i'll probably just go neutral on that one pessimist oh piss off <laughs> look at this the media in namibia hate me they actually hate me it's mad anything gone wrong yet no not really we're unbeaten so far oh all right that's gonna take some getting used to oh there is one more set of uh oh yeah you can learn everybody's so negative jesus it's mad okay this guy's doing zwanis doing around training good what we name that's a good question i don't actually know coaching nationality uh norwegian yeah they just really don't like me do they oh they're gonna look real stupid if we go beat the top top of the t top of the table team aren't they i quite like being the villain for once we've turned heel chat learn the culture it's a pessimistic atmosphere no the reason i'm doing the press conferences as well is because i don't want to get in a situation like i had on oti where i'm being turned down for jobs because of the press uh issues how are you not ready yet richard mate what are you doing in your free time <laughs> for the, yeah i'm going for the triple h reign of terror <laughs> i'm gonna pedigree the press Okay, this game we don't expect to win, but that's not an issue. Oh, they're playing a 4-4-2 as well, which will be a little bit different. So we have to be careful there. Um, but that's fine. I can change that. So what I'll do is I'll do a next match only and then put Gurari... God's sake. Put Gurarib to mark the left midfielder instead of the... Because they don't have one. Otherwise, he could definitely cause problems. Yeah, there is a team in the top flight called Black Africa, yeah. Okay, so... So we're not playing Zalis and Stein. Richard will start again because if we can just get ourselves in front with him in the team. I'm also not going to start on Luvu. I'm going to start... Uh, where is he? Benoit? Yeah, he's running the yellow cards. We've got to be careful. But I will start Benoit as well. <laughs> Young Brazilians, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I bet you they have no Brazilians. They are Brazilianless. Let me just uh, get rid of unavailables so we can actually see. Yeah, that's fine. You can see that it's either center backs or strikers. They have so little in midfield, but like that's fine because we'll hopefully get a few guys through the youth intake that can play there and that will instantly make us better. Uh, so this is going to be a guaranteed defeat. We know that because they are incredible. These guys are comfortably top of this league, are they not? Oh, only two points clear to be fair but you can see that there's a real disparity between the top and the sort of lower teams in this league really it's sort of from about here downwards i'd say all right let's go let's do it all again chaps uh, i don't know they might be on the list that might not be I'm not sure uh there is a yeah the spreadsheet uh, the spreadsheet should be oti i can't remember what the spreadsheet is Unam. Uh, I don't think it... It's one of those ones where there isn't actually a full name. Weirdly. Yeah, so basically what we did, Ollie, is we took a segment of the coefficient and only looked for teams in that segment. Otherwise, we could have potentially got a job that was too good for us. Essentially... Oh, we're avenging, boys. Wait, what? Okay, that was never about... That's never normally worked. Like share, exactly. Uh, well, we've only been here... Th we've only played two league games, so... um we were i think 10th in the league we've we've got four points from our first two games in charge and we won a cup game as well but that was against the lower league side so the top team in namibia qualifies for the champions league and the second team qualifies for the uh confederation cup and then the top 12 nations in the coefficients get two in each and then they can drop down in so you could actually end up with four in the confederation cup sometimes because of that basically uh no, I, mean, I would absolutely adore that honestly and it might be the perfect opportunity to show off your kit generator if i'm honest uh, right, let's see. This one we don't expect to win. No chance. If we do anything other than lose this, then my God is all I can say. It's just, it ain't going to happen. These guys are much, much better than us. 
But what I would say is, if I could sort out the set pieces a bit, defensively and attackingly, that would give us a few more goals, potentially. And I just can't believe we've actually not lost a game with this system yet, honestly. And if we could get Nagombe to stay fresh a bit, then, hey, the sky's the limit, chat. The other good thing, I suppose, about them playing a 4-4-2 with that uh, slightly deeper wide man is it means that our guy isn't going to have to do quite as much tracking to stay on top of him. Because he'll have a lower starting position. So it'll actually allow our player to get further forward a bit easier because he won't have to go... Yeah. Actual tactics like in this system. How do you mean? <laughs> the success is, is, is obvious. Jeb Hart, go on, lad. Good to be in company. Ooh. Well, airlines are usually a good shout. Telecoms, maybe. Kajikua. Nangombe. What on earth, chat? We lead by one goal to nil against the top of the league, African Stars, and Nangombe has done it again. <laughs> what a lovely pick out here. The defender does terribly, but look at this for a finish. Little deflection, pass the goalkeeper. Hang on, I'll show you in a sec, Ollie. Park the bus. Pfft, we don't park no buses. This is a bus. This isn't a car park. Uh, so, tactics wise, um,. We're on positive just because we're hitting early crosses oh, yeah, and playing down the left, sure. obviously. Uh, although, no, right now it's working. Don't touch it, Matt. Uh, in transition, just your standard sort of uh, regroup counter, over the top, long kicks, you know? And then out of possession, it's just uh, force opposition inside, obviously, and then a slightly higher press. Gords, thank you for the follow, man. So there we go. Cool. The team names are superb, yeah. Oh, pick a sponsor. There you go. Dan's completely done you there. Become Mourinho. The fact that we've even taken the lead here is actually kind of mad. These guys are comfortably the best side in this nation. Even though Civics are giving them a good run, but you can see their goal difference to me is the thing that really stands out. Uh, less possession today, but that's fine. That's fine. What I really want to see is... Hang on. Uh, I want to see their right midfielder... Their left midfielder performing poorly. That's That's a good sign for me. So that's it. Just keep tracking him. Okay, now he's had to step out, but that's fine. Because by now... And now he's, lost, now he's lost his man. Got to be careful here. Edge of the area. It's a good effort, but it's from long range. It's fine. <laughs> They're definitely a better team than us, for sure. But we do have the lead right now, and that's really all that matters. We only need those one little opportunities here and there. You just got to give Nangombe one shot, and he'll take it, boys. That's what he does. He's a machine. What was that? Was that another work born to the box side? Oh, no, it was an always press. We'll do that then. Okay. So we're at half time. We're a bit fortunate to be in front, but we've taken our chance and defended pretty well. Not good effort, even worse shot. Oh, chill out. <laughs> oh, you mean their one? Sorry, I, I'm not used to this level of negativity. This is a po It's a positive atmosphere, chat. Right, delighted with the performance, because I actually am. Let's go. Which country? This is Namibia, Gords. Famous for... I actually don't know, actually. <laughs> oh, go on, get in on the... Ah, that's fine. No, they're not playing well. Um, They've not hit the target yet. I think they will still beat us, though. Oh, go on. We haven't scored anything from a corner yet. Gurarib, ball in. Oh, and it was nearly two. Nearly two. Jebhart nearly got his head, his head on it. Okay. Shavute's struggling a bit so far today. But that's fine. We can work. Up the arrows. We've actually... We've matched them so far today. A draw would probably be a bit fairer, but... We've had a chance and we've taken it so far. Let's uh, get to about 65, 66, then we'll make the change. There we go. And Godbay is actually not doing as badly in terms of fitness levels today, which means I'm probably going to keep him in there. However, uh, Shavute definitely needs to... God, we need some more... Uh... We definitely need central midfield players as well. That's where we're really struggling in terms of our depth is the central midfield spots. I think moving that other defender in has definitely been better today. Guraib, I can't really afford to take him off, although maybe actually we could get Gatangwe on. And does that already have that on it? I want to just see. Yeah, it does. Good. That's, that's good, actually. I wasn't sure if it carried over. Is there really? Well, the more you know. I might get Gephardt actually off for a bit to get Morgan on because he's not actually done great today and we just kind of need to sort of see this out. I might switch to time wasting in a bit but not immediately. 
we'll go 85 minutes i'll switch the time well watch us concede now oh well to be fair a draw would be a much fairer result for this game so i wouldn't be too bothered if we oh what a touch oh no this is the chance isn't it good block yes lads okay time wasting no play for set pieces too actually those are my two go-to's when it comes to time wasting time waste play for set pieces usually it just slowly but surely if you can drags things out a little bit although they keep us oh wow what the hell was that 90th minute now can we hang on oh no the space is in behind now Kotze's through no yes go on Zwame. big save from the goalkeeper can we get through the last two minutes oh if we win against top of the league wow clapped over the top and surely now unless they score literally with their next shot or next play this is done right clipped into the midfield and that's it 11 arrows one african stars nil we've beaten top of the league at home with that system come on oh. oh story behind the save idea basically it's just something we've been wanting to do for a long long time i mean come on it's the gazelle and we played like gazelles today jogo we played like gazelles massive result like we've played what five games now and we've won four of them and drawn the other oh no sorry we played four games won three and drawn the other <laughs> massive now we're gonna get the extremely long media reaction thing aren't we oh good phew worried for a second there despite having look at this this media hates me i swear to god did you look we've just beaten top of the league one nil right and their first question is, did you intend to allow them to have so much of the ball? And I'm like, piss off. We won. <laughs> Incredible levels of shithousery from the uh, the Namibian media. Yeah. Mad. How hard was it to manage significant pressure for most of the match? <laughs> they actually hate me. They actually hate me. <laughs> I love it. We've beaten the top of the league and all their questions are negative. Deary me. We've won, though. 29 points on the board. I'll take that. Yeah, I've seen Ethiopian Coffee, the team. Okay. That was their... St they were 16 games unbeaten overall as well. Yeah, media are just going straight for us. They just can't handle a beautiful Norwegian man stepping in. You know what, Reese? You might actually be right there, yeah. Being hated by the media, yeah. you think they'd hate the top of the league now, wouldn't you? That's usually how it works, right? African stars, aren't these guys like a dominant team in this league? Yeah, what are you doing outside of Scandinavia indeed, isn't it? I mean, they've won league titles recently. <sighs> Deary me. Right, I'm just going to save it here to make sure that we don't lose any of those ridiculous results. Up the arrows. Yeah, we need to get ourselves a... Uh... <laughs> I've got two emotes in mind. One is a standard one for the arrows, but I think we should also get a right back with a line through it. No right backs allowed. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for our bloody uh, youth intake to have like seven right backs in it. This will help. Oh, here we go. To be fair, that still kind of applies. In fairness. Nothing about that as far as I can tell. Because it doesn't mention Europe. And technically it is the Champions League. Although. Yeah, no, I, I think that probably is best keeping it around even though we you know technically it isn't oti but it basically is oti just in africa i'm so i can't believe how well this has gone honestly ah oh, we lost to their their youth team <laughs> up arrows <laughs> well i've got five emote slots available at the moment because obviously i deleted all the trompster related ones so we've got quite a few little slots available so obviously i don't want to fill them all up straight away because you know that there's going to be a shitload of memes richard nangombe is an absolute weapon of a player. Look at this. These are the games that we've played so far. And Nangombe has scored in every single game. <laughs> he's got six in four. And look at the XG. Like, he's regularly getting chances. Obviously, the last game wasn't quite so much. Yeah, so we'll have to change that for next year, potentially. <laughs> you held on your word. I am happy to be here. Yeah, that makes sense. It kind of just... Because what we do get a lot of questions about what an o OTI is, and that kind of makes sense because, like, you know, why would anyone know what that is unless I've explained it before? Uh, and when I say that, I mean, like, unless I've actually explicitly explained it. Uh, we'll just keep doing that for now. 
so no, the bastion formation came about because there were no right backs. So it kind of just got built from there. So we had to overcompensate for the lack of right backs. And then we just started twiddling around with stuff after that to tweak and make it a bit better. I've still got plans. Well, to be fair, we won the game. Uh, what was the actually from the last match, actually? I'd say we were fortunate to win that, honestly. I think that would have been a draw would have been completely fair. Done the requests. Uh, I think so. Uh, let me just check. Uh, did the Hulk mode. We obviously looked up Manchester United, MacGyver, what a lad. And I've done the most recent Hulk mode. Yes, we're, we're up to date. We'll have to figure out some new thing to replace Tromsa mode, chat. I actually cannot believe how well this has started. And our next match, oh, chat. Next match features Manchester United, MacGyver. He's in. He's in. He's going to rip us apart, isn't he? Top assister in the league is old Manchester United, MacGyver. Oh, Unam stands for University of Namibia. That makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Fair one. They're a tough side, but hey. Uh, yes, that would be uh, that would be Mr. Manchester United MacGyver here. Uh, what country? We are in Namibia, Tyler. Uh, having a bloody lovely time so far. Incredibly. I, I did not expect it to go as well as it's done so far. And I think we could get more out of this with some set-piece setups. Which will be super easy to do. I'll oh, see you later, Jogger. Thanks for coming by, man. Nice to see you, man. Ooh. The beautiful thing as well is the F1 sprint thingy today isn't during stream. It's after stream. I'm so happy about that. Breaking into my first team at Worcester. Wow, that's awesome. It's kind of like me getting the South Korean at, uh, to swallow. Although, obviously, that's because of... Uh... No, no. No, Scott, that, that's his name. Dime Bar, thank you for the follow, man. That, that, that is not a nickname. I did not give him any nicknames or anything like that. He, that is, you can see, that's his name. Uh, <laughs> there ain't no nicknames here. 12th man. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Wow, this guy's really good, isn't he? Or is he? Is the question. BTCC driver changed his name to John Barbecue. B and Q. Did he really? Who was that? I do remember a driver being sponsored by B and Q back in the day, but who was it? Oh, God, yeah. The Korean guy. Oh, by the way, actually, this is a bit of a spoiler for... Um, it's not really a spoiler. It's nothing related to the transfer stuff because we've got an analysis video tonight. Um, the South Korean guy at 16 got a call up to the Korean under-23 squad and played for them at 16 to give you an idea of the level of quality that that guy in theory possesses. So, yeah, excitement abound for that guy. It's, it's absolutely insane. Also got an insane bid for someone too, but that's we'll talk about that more tomorrow. I haven't actually recorded that episode yet. John Bachelor. I don't remember that. I I, I remember the John B and Q thing. The why did you write my sister Rose meme? Yeah. Roy Keane Avanteur, almost certainly. Not Roy Keane, Matt Roy Keane. I really want to make sure we get the youth intake in today. There he is. Roy Keane Avanteur at Stellenbosch FC over in South Africa. I want them all to play in the same league, you know? John Top Gear. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I remember the John B&Q thing very vividly from the old uh, my old BTCC DVDs. But I don't remember about the Top Gear thing. It must have been later. Oh. <clears throat> <sighs> Fucking right backs. Not only a goalkeeper, but the best player in the entire youth intakes. Holy. He's a f 15. Oh my giddy aunt. <laughs> Look at that youth intake. Okay. So Scott Isaacs. Okay, there's all sorts of issues with him, but remember where we are. A five star right back. I mean, they're all five stars, to be fair. So, right back. Can you be retrained to play as a right midfielder is my question. And is Gift Gutierrez. Decent tackling. So we'll get you on train to play further up. It's basically an entire new, new team. Yeah, exactly. Stamina one. Does he really have one stamina? Oh my God. Don't ask him to run. So no sweeper keeper for him, eh? So Edson Shilongo as well, who can play on both Yada! sides. Interestingly. Good, good, good. Sports, thank you for the follow, man. I don't know. My guess is Quimby, probably. Like, there's a strong chance that I think anybody can play in this league. Now, this guy's got stamina 10. 16 flair as well. Edson Shilongo, welcome. 
Yeah, the one guy that's four stars is just like useless, mate. What about Joseph Kaninab? Oh, he's a central midfielder. Good, good, good. I th that might be the best using tech I've ever seen as far as like the uh, relatives. What about this guy? Attacking midfielder? Another attacking... Good long shots. Very good long shots. <laughs> Smokes during games. Yeah, it's actually Wojciech Chesney. <laughs> In disguise. Or Thomas... Um, Robert Prozanecki. Nuno Maletsky is a very interesting name. They're all born in Wildest Bay, which is cool. Oh, yeah, we'll have them all. We'll have to sign them all. Um, at this point, it's almost pointless even looking through them because we know they're all going to get in. So we'll uh, sign them all up. I'm so happy with that. Like, we may have well just strengthened our entire team for the rest of the season with that. That is insane. It's been number one for Juventus. <sighs> yeah, score a hatch in the afternoon. Easy, mate. Define their mid table expert. Woody Jacobs. That's a superb name. Obviously, very surprised with it. Good lord. Get a lot of plaudits. Oh, they want to praise another team, do they? Sound like you're These guys are the worst. <laughs> they are the worst. Uh, okay, Steve Minetti. Sure, I guess we'll scout him. Not that we need him anymore. We could potentially poach from other youth intakes. Uh, we're going to probably do that next time, Dan. Because we're not going to get towards the end of the season just yet anyway. That way we're a bit closer anyway. Play your funky tactic, white boy. <laughs> oh, I need a cover. I'm hoping some of these guys, we should be able to get like signed up. We might not be able to get them in the next game. They might be able to play Ramblers, though. Because once we play this, we'll be able to sign them in. Because that goalkeeper... In fact, I might just try and sign him up now, if I can. I don't know if he'll be eligible to play. Yeah, we might be able to poach from some other youth intakes as well, potentially. Because the other clubs probably won't think to do that. So we might be able to get some advantages there. It's a shame we got a right back in that youth intake, honestly. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't get any. But I'm still not going to change things now. And obviously, we won't like take this to every club. But it is just a bit of fun at the end of the day. And the fact is, we're actually winning games with it, to be fair. It'd be different if we were losing constantly, but we've not lost a match yet. That's mad. Oh, they had a really bad start, didn't they? Okay. So, let me see if I can sign him up now. Get him in in time for the game. Yeah, he has to be on... Oh, there's squad reg. There's a squad reg. We'll still sign them up, but... Do they have a registration window, then? They do. Yeah, look at that. It's basically limitless, but we actually can't play any of these guys until next season. Wow. Okay. That is... I'm actually surprising... I'm finding it very surprising that there's actually that much thought been put into it, to be fair. No, no, it's... It, it, there was a... I don't know if you saw at the bottom. It specifically said he uh, couldn't... Oh, hang on. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. That You're right. That could be it, actually. But there is a squad reg. No, no, look. 19th of the 6th. That's what it said, wasn't it? I'm certain that's what it said on his uh, thing. Let me just check. If his birthday's the same day, we'll know that that's not right. But... God, sorry. It's going to be a bit like this for a bit. Uh, yeah, no, that was definitely squad reg rules. That's a shame. So those guys can't play for us till next year. That's kind of shit, isn't it? Oh, well, it just means our youth team is going to be absolutely poggers for the rest of the season. Team kit. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this shit. And in a good way. So, guys, if you ever wanted an example... Hang on, one sec. Great. Yeah, youth, youth team's about to go win the whole league. They're about to get promoted. Uh, so, yeah. So this, chat, is an example of what can be made with Nymane's youth... Uh, sorry, with Nymane's kit generator. Look at this. Like, absolutely incredible scenes. And these were generated with a, with a, uh, a, a program, basically, rather than having to do it by hand. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. Oh. So this is the home kit, right? And this is the away kit. It's not going to match up properly because obviously our away kit is actually uh, um, white and blue. But still, it'll look weird in the game. But nevertheless, unless we get 3D ones too. But that is actually incredible. So yeah, fair one. 
So that's what Nightmane's uh, kit generator can produce. Do we need the other kits? Other... Oh, I wonder how easy that'd be. That's so damn cool. Look at that. That's going to look so damn good. Top is home. Really? Ah, but what I'm saying is the game itself... Oh, yeah, because it uses Wikipedia, doesn't it? Right. Because that's what it's got in the game. What kit generator? Nightmane's kit generator. It's actually a program that a member of the community made from scratch, and it is fucking incredible. I still haven't had a chance to probably sit down with it, but holy shit. What was the creator? The creator is Nine Mr. Nymane in the chat. Nymane, if you want to put your link to the Discord or any information you have about the program, now's the time to do it because, yeah, go for it. Go nuts. In fact, uh, how do I, is it where I can do this? I wonder if I might be able to do this here. Uh, I want to see if I can do this. No, I can't. Or maybe I can actually. No, I can't. I was going to see if I could... Um, no. I was going to see if I could VIP you, but I can't. Not from here, anyway. Right. Okay, next game. Who number 11? Okay, they want to make changes again. I will obviously switch that back to bring back in... Oh, look, he's fully fresh as well. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Hang on. Wait, where's he gone? Oh, no, don't go by his up front this time. Good, you finally started listening to me. It's that bloody Christmas song again. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm keeping it on. <laughs> oh dear oh yeah and i will get the uh the regen faces for next stream because our basically our entire team is literally entirely regen now apart from petrus even our good players are regens or well, good aribis anyway and uh shivute that's interesting actually right oh he's got an opinion oh yeah if in doubt my <laughs> if in doubt go for the keeper oh actually wait Mark specific position, AML. Are they playing an AML? Yeah, good. Phew. <laughs> what are we going to do if the team comes up against an... If the team goes with a narrow formation against us, we're screwed, chat. The only thing I'm thinking about maybe switching is potentially get rid of early crosses. And, uh, yeah. Going from there. Because I think we could keep the whole of the possession a bit more by doing that. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So what's new is we're actually smashing it. Uh, we've currently... We just beat top of the league 1-0. And we've not lost a game yet. <laughs> we've played four games, won three, drawn one. I think today might be the day we lose, though. But hey, fear of complacency. How dare you, sir? They want to keep asking me about Woody Jacobs. Is, these are the same questions they asked me literally yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow, look. It's a different one. It's more built up. Come on. Right. Maybe that's the university right there, chat. In my head canon, that right there is the University of Namibia. That's why. They've got stands and everything. They've got a they've actually got a ground. Is what's happening here. Right, okay, there we go. Let's see if it continues to work. I mean, obviously we're bound to lose eventually. It's an inevitability. But oh, hang on a minute. Unlover is back in the middle of the defense. I should have put the other guy in because he lacks the height to deal with those long passes. Any new signings? No. No no signings. Uh, we're not, we can't register players at the moment anyway. As in, there's a the registration window isn't open, so we couldn't have registered anyone anyway. Oh, Shivuto's going to bring this... Oh, he's not going to bring it down. Oh, okay. Interesting. But he's still tracking him. That looked like it might have been offside. Catapose. Nope. First time we've been behind all season. Oh, it's nice to see Raul Jimenez back. It really is. Oh, that looked borderline. Oh, oh brilliant game. Cheers. <laughs> it was such a long ball that he couldn't even see it. Oh, we fall behind for the first time this season. Played a Mexican team. In it, yeah. Keely, we can get Chiellini. <laughs> no problem. Here we go. Here we go. Good already about on the right-hand side. This is where we need to see him a bit more. Get him forward. Now, Bev. Here we go. Oh, this is better. She need the right pass. And... That damn near was it. Oh, free kick. Oh, did he come up from an offside position there? That's fine. She's got to get Nangombe on the ball a bit more. She's not usually that difficult. He just needs one chance. The man is an absolute machine. Zwame with the long ball forward. Oh, Gephardt should easily win this header, and he does. Here's the chance, perhaps. Over the top, Nangombe. Oh, good effort. Offside, but he's still a good effort. Yeah, we've got spec savers. Nangombe is just so dangerous. What team are we managing? We are managing currently uh, 11 arrows in the Namibian Premier Division. And what league? All of them. 
<laughs> Basically, every African league is loaded. Nangombe. Oh, could he turn a sister for once? Lakshman. Can he slip it through, maybe? He does. Nangombe's in behind. This man is absolutely ridiculous. One all, Richard Nangombe continues his run of scoring in every single game that we've played so far. We are level at the University of Namibia and we just keep on going. Look at that. He drops the ball off. Lakshman picks it up. Jeb Hart with a gorgeous little ball. And he's on his left foot this time, remember? Lovely football from the boys. Oh, who needs Pep Guardiola? Sod off. <laughs> We've got Eric Sandberg. Coaching Ghana? Nope, currently in Namibia, as it is. A good start from us. We played really well. Petrus bringing it forward. Oh, go on, Laxman. Let's get on the end of this again. Jeb Hart into the box again. Nagambe! <laughs> His name means rainfall. That makes it even better. I'm going to call him Ricky Rainfall. Ricky Rainfall through the middle. Oh. Dicky Rainfall? Dicky Rainfall. That makes way more sense. I'm a big fan of that. Laxman. Low effort there. It's raining goals. It is for him. Yeah, for sure. I'm amazed. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you oh, look. There's MacGyver chat. Oh, tell you what. Right. There's a reason why this man has the most assists in the league. And Manchester United MacGyver produces yet again for Unum. Ah, oh, it's the first time we've conceded twice. Honest not. We had that draw, didn't we? It's a great cross from MacGyver in fairness. Goalkeeper couldn't come for it. Ah, unlucky. We'll get back. If we can score once, we can score twice. Toto, yeah. We play Toto every time he scores. His actual name is Manchester United MacGyver. I promise you, it's not a nickname. I've shown the full name thing several times. I, that is his actual name. Manchester United MacGyver. We're a bit unlucky to be behind here, actually. We've played pretty well. That's fine. Actually, I might do the Avenge one instead here. Rather than thrashing my arms at them. Try to go a bit more positive this time. Like, if we could just get the ball to uh, Dickie Rainfall, then hopefully... We can grab ourselves an equalizer. At least avoid defeat. Because this is, ironically, the only points we've dropped so far were against probably the worst team that we've played other than the lower league side in the cup. It's weird how it works like that, isn't it? Ace Gurarib has actually struggled today. It's been a, a rare underperformance from him so far. And he's actually, Catapulse has definitely got the better of him so far. Still, plenty of time. Play set pieces? Nah, not yet. We'll see. Loads of time. I am, MacGyver is a very good player though. There's a reason why he's the top assister in the league. His parents are poor. <laughs> ah, you see, they're getting their left back forward. And I think that's... Oh, well played, Ace. Go on. Ace is just taking it over himself here. Can he find Dickie Rainfall, though? This is the question. Or will we get a penalty, maybe? Still got it? Jeb Hart. Oh, and it's cleared. Oh, no. Not out the woods yet, though. Shavute. Lox Lakshman. Petrus with the ball through. And Nagambe's on the end of it. And Richard Nangombe, Dicky Rainfall, makes it 2-2 here away at 11 Arrows. And he now has eight goals in five matches for the club since we've come in. He's scored in every single game so far. And he's got two more today. Great cross from Petrus. What a ball. Goalkeeper's made, a mash up, made an absolute mess of that. And it's 2-2 at the university, boys. He's very elusive. He is. Come on, lads. Deserved. Like, completely deserved that. Oh, hello. Oh, cleared away. Come on, get onto it. Oh, shit. Just say he played against Manchester United when we are. Uh-oh. MacGyver's on again. He's very, very slow. If someone could get back and... <laughs> He's missed it. <laughs> oh, I feel like we could definitely get some set pieces going in this league. Surely. No doubt about it. Schlongo. Ball in. Lots of players in there, though. Oh, hello. Is there a breakaway on? No. They keep the ball. Definitely better than Lovskip. Yeah. We've got Nagom... Golski, or something, if you're Thomas Muller anyway. Good save from Zwame. Oh. Okay, change is coming up soon, I think. Uh, in fact, I'll make that change now, because I was going to make that change anyway. Shlongo. Big header one. Yes, KMB. He could definitely do some uh, damage from set pieces for us. If we earn a two-all draw here, I'd be happy with that. That miss was Muller-esque in many ways, yeah. Oh, the correct colours. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Check this out. Look at those. I, I don't know what more to say, Nine Main. You are an absolute genius, sir. These were generated with a program and not made from scratch. That is absolutely incredible. Could you um, send those to me so I can make them in the game for the next uh, for Tuesday? That they're so pretty as well. Look, that is so clean. Honestly, 
That, oh, mate. You are a legend. Hopefully, we can go on and win this game for you. Oh, Imga. Yeah, I normally use Gyatso just because I can screenshot stuff. Right. Where are we looking a bit shady? Okay, so to be fair, that makes sense that he would be struggling. He isn't really ideal for the role. So we'll, so we'll bring on a striker in that role. <laughs> Why the hell not, eh? Who's amazingly better there, apparently. And our DM is also a little bit worse for wear. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring on Beloy there, but I'm actually going to move in Luvu into that spot because he's shorter and is probably better for DM roles, whereas beloy has got that kind of height that we need. Yeah, definitely. Definitely do that, Wasser, yeah. Are we about... Just being played out of position. Is he really? <laughs> is he really? Oh, they're pushing forward a bit more now, though. They've got some pretty uh, attacking-minded situations coming up now. We need a big clearance away. No! What a save from Zwame. I think they're pressuring us here. Unlove. Oh, of course. Yeah, like Peter Unlove, the guy that used to play for Coventry, right? Schlonger with the ball in. Headed away again. And Gephardt will not clear it. Oh, hello. Oh, Nangombe's taking the free kick, interestingly. Don't know if I like that. But someone could go out to this. Maybe he'll make a late run. Oh, that's surely offside. Oh, what an amazing goal that would have been. But Nangombe's still looking for those little runs. He's darting in there. I wonder how close that was to offside. Very, 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 very offside. <laughs> he could have had two offside goals with that. The situation we're in, though, it, oh, they, they're definitely stacking it forward. But if we can get away with it, then we'll have a massive advantage on the counter-attack. That's our situation right now. Now might actually be the time for passing to space because they're going to be giving us space. I think now might be the time to go for something like that. Oh, hello. If he can win this, and he does. Oh, no. That was nice play, actually. And now it could end up costing us dearly. Katapuse to the other Katapuse. And it's wide of the post again as Zwame pulls the big saver. I think if we get away with the 2-2 draw, given the way they've switched their play, then I would consider that a pretty strong result. And it would keep us unbeaten in this little spell, i.e. the spell of us managing the club. Shilongo. Head to the box from MacGyver. Oh, God. You've got to get it on MacGyver here. Do not let him attack. Right, good. Yeah, they've definitely thrown some stuff at us towards the end of this now. It's, it's very much in their favor right now. But if we just get through these final two minutes. Oh, one minute to go. That's a really bad ball. But we picked it up again. Unlove. Beloy. Oh, oh, nice little ball to the midfield. Oh, here we go. We're building it through. Gephardt's in. Can he score? No. Oh. That actually could have been the winner. Gephardt could have won it for us at the death there. Oh. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> Imagine if we'd pulled out a late winner here. What a moment that would have been. And he's just clipped it straight out of play. Straight out of play. Well, it looks like we are going to stay unbeaten since taking over with this absolutely batshit system. And we continue our run. Unum 2, 11 arrows 2. And I think that's a pretty fair result. Both sides were pretty much in that game. Pickford quality kicking in it, though. Great goalkeeper from Ashraf Zwane, though. Brilliant, man. MacGyver is, is definitely a very good player, for sure. But once again, we avoid defeat. I'm proud of the effort with the lads, to be honest. I've got to give them credit for that. We've managed to get through yet another game without losing. And we're taking on mostly tides above us. I don't think the only team we've played below us was that team that we absolutely smashed and unfortunately didn't get the result in the end. This is a really good sign. We've beaten top of the league. We've beaten, um, what was it? Okashikati City? I can't remember the name. Oh, we held Manchester United. Exactly. It's not every day you get to take a draw at Manchester United with a team in the Namibian Premier Division, is it now? That's a special day for us. Oh, God. Oh, is that the wheel? <laughs> is that the wheelhouse? As usual, negative comment. Um, we remain ninth, but we've started to gap the team below us now. We're trying to catch into this top period now. We, we've got a nice five-point gap. Goal difference is way better. Seven games to go. I think we've got to try and latch on to the end of these two. I think it's going to be tough, though. But our 7th and then 16th after that. They're bottom, in fact, aren't they? Giulinio Sporting. Ramblers will be tough, but we are at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Right. So that went well. Another good performance. Like, where are we sitting as far as, like, XG stuff goes? 7th? So well, they've actually underperformed a bit, really, before we got here, it would seem. And... 
that's eighth again, isn't it, really? Or seventh, yeah. So not too bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. I would happily take that. Oh. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect that we'd actually be able to come in here and make an impact. Not straight away, anyway. I figured we'd be dicking around with formations for ages, and we still are, in a way. Are you trying to give subset? I it's just Twitch being Twitch, I think. Okay, so he's got a youth contract. There's nothing more we can do about that. The rest of them will just get signed up when they get signed up now because we can't register them anyway. So we'll just let it do the thing where we play the game and then we sign them all up. No big deal. Sandy has a big parasol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sign them all up. Get them all in. It's going to ruin the wage budget for a bit, but we need to. These guys are all excellent. 90 pounds! My Doff is the stupidest man in the world. And Dave 60 Thor, thank you for the follow, man. He just spent a thousand pounds a week. Captain Zeep, thank you for the gifted sub to Eric's. Mug. He just put every single one of them on 90 pounds a week when we could get them on a full contract for 55 pounds a week. Oh, dear. You really didn't have to do that, Captain Zeep. I think M was just testing something. But thank you very much, man, for the gifted sub. That's extremely nice of you, buddy. Oh, a little break there, which is good. We can get uh, a bit of a no-matcher going on in there, too. For science! Ah, oh, dearie me. We're going to have to sort of dig ourselves out of the hole. But that's actually not too big of a deal. We can sort that out. Because I think if we try to put some of them on proper contracts, we can actually then lower their wages from it, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, remind me never to do that again. I've Usually you can get away with doing that because... But I suppose at this level, the balancing is all over the place. Should I go buy a watermelon? I, sounds quite tasty, to be fair. Right. Under 20s cash. Well, at least we've got a load more players. Like, our under 20s side is about to get busy. Hmm. I wonder. I know. I don't know if we can even do this, actually, but let's try it. That's us. I'm going to get um, team reports from their under-19 squads. Just to see if there's any poachable players, potentially, in their teams. Like, I want to see if there's, like, a Scott Isaacs knocking about in one of their clubs as well. Just to give us someone to look, after, look for in the summer, maybe. Ramblers... Usually it makes you select a member of staff, so I'm concerned that it might not actually let us do this. But we'll have a look. Just want to get young Brazilians. If there aren't Brazilians in their team, I'll be pissed. African stars. We did African stars, didn't we? Have I done all of these already, or have I? Oh no, it was Civics that was first, wasn't it? Because they lost the top of the league after losing to us. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Be curious to see. Is it more on mobile? Really? It's good uh, you huh. came in summer. Lazinator! Thank you for the follow, man. Why are you looking up that end? Uh, let's see. It's very little statistical data. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, right. That was the full team. Right, okay. We don't care about the full team. Actually, we'll have a look at their team. <laughs> Listed four... Oh, well, they actually are listening for money. Oh, he's listening for zero. But look how old their team... Uh, okay. Anna's Christians here is 41 years old. Oh, of course, because of the Apple tax, yeah. To be fair, though, he's actually quite good. Yeah, the problem is that convincing them to join us would be quite the task. Although, it might be worth shortlisting them, if nothing else. So we've just gone and beat Unam in the under-20s, which is good. And I think... Uh, no, Shilongo plays for us, doesn't he? Oh, no, he was one of the new boys, wasn't he? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Yeah, we might as well. Oh, this guy here, Lizzo Nikosi.
We'll just tra we'll shortlist those guys. This guy's not bad either, actually. He's somewhere. There's another MacGyver. I mean, eighty-five thousand pounds compensation. Well, that's one way of getting some money back for us, isn't it? If we could just get someone to poach one of our players from compensation. Although I guess it might not apply for us because we're not them, but still. Right. Civix is under 20 side. <laughs> our transfer budget? Zero. <laughs> A big fat zero, but look at these guys. They've got some, uh, some quite good players in their team. Might get scout reports on them. Shortlist them as well. I might just offer them trials, actually. See if they'll actually send them. Can you imagine if they let us trial them? Brandon Smart Boy. Oh, he's very smart, guys. Offer their value and they'll accept. True. This is, yeah, about as low a league as you can get, I'd say. Ah. I love how these guys have sub snubbed us and this guy's rejected us. I'm not sure what the difference between the two things are, but nevertheless... Yeah, it's this. We've got to dig ourselves out of that hole. Oh, dearie me. This club is losing money fast. Positive to balanced. Increased attack duties. Yeah, I'm probably going to not do that. Probably going to keep doing what we're doing. Despite it looking ridiculous. Keep the same team? Why, yes, I think I will. I can't wait to be able to register some of these guys. Because that goalkeeper is already better than our standard keeper. Hey, look, he had a suggestion that wasn't that. <laughs> Wasn't to mark up the goalkeeper. Incredible news. Uh, what shape are they playing? So that should still be fine. Good. Right. God, if we got an injury to someone like Ace, we'd be screwed. Uh, wait, no. Hang on. My, my change. I want to make Unlovu... The oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. He's staying there, but Unlovu's coming out for Baloyi. I think. Or Guraib. Let me just check. I want to compare the two. In, in winter, it can get uh... very depressing. Bloy. Super fight Duran. Thank you for the follow, man. So let's see. Central defender, standard defend. So he's worse marking, much better tackling. Good Arib. Better in the air. Same, well, it's slightly bit slower, but look at the leadership as well. Bravery's better. I think Good Arib for the role instead of Bloy. Yeah, that's a hell of, That's good leadership. That man will... Uh, he'll do some leading. That's for sure. Right. Oh, they've got a bad partnership. Maybe that's from before. Well, it has to be from before. They barely played together. <laughs> yeah, he's in the wrong line of business, really, isn't he? Man needs to get himself to... Uh, he should go to the University of Namibia. I hear it's nice. <sighs> Is he the guy that has, um like, 20 leadership but no teamwork? Okay. The players seem to be starting to like... I wonder what the dressing room atmosphere is like, actually. We should look for that after the game. How much... I don't care, mate. Why do they always ask... They constantly ask you about other teams. And it's like, just talk about my players, mate. Come on. Right. Let's go. Can Nangombe do it again? He has scored in every single match that we have played in this save so far. Through the middle, Nangombe. Can he do it for the sixth or seventh? I can't even remember. Consecutive game. That is the big question. If anyone could do it, Nangombe can, right? Watch this be the one time we're just genuinely really bad. Gurarib. Shavute on the edge of the area. Ooh, it's a good block. Yeah, Nangombe's white. To be fair, Namibia, I believe, has a similar uh, racial makeup to South Africa. For similar reasons, if I recall correctly. Um, Gephardt. Into the box. Nangombe! Drops it down. Blocked. Comes back to him. Hang on. He Are you shitting me? He's 16. Yes, yes, he is. He is 16 years old. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Nangombe is 16 years old. Put through the middle and has already bagged eight goals for us this season. In six games. What a ledge. Uh-oh. Right, this could be a dangerous one. Nenkavu. Just hold him up. Well played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is a literal boy. He's 16 years old. Oh, was a part of South Africa. What? There you go. Oh, we've kept it in play. Watch out the back post. Good block. Here we go. Get part to bring it forward. Eventually. <laughs> what was that? He just stood there for ages. Oh, it's doing that rattly thing again. Oh, no. They've been caught out, and it's 1-0 to the Ramblers. 
That's the first time anyone's really got into that space. And Gurari wasn't really on the ball there. He just... We didn't really push out when we won back, when we won the ball back there, and it's cost us. They were able to just play that ball quickly into the channel. He gets caught up the pitch, doesn't track the run. Ah. Plenty of time to turn it around. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Lots of possession so far today as well, actually. Oh, good block. They've actually started fairly well, annoyingly. This might well be our first defeat. But if there's any... Oh, dear. If there's any man that can really... Come on, lads. If there's any guy that can dig us out of this hole, you know who it is. It's Nangombe. Good save from Zwame. I think next season's squad is definitely going to be pretty t tasty, though. Just getting some of those youth players in and playing is going to make a massive difference. Because I do wonder if the other sides are going to be more hesitant to do so. Okay, we're getting there now. That's better. Working our way through. My phone's just gone, mild, gone mad there. Okay. It was an NHS text. It's not been our best first up. There's actually a fairly fairly reasonably sized crowd here too, which is kind of nice to see. Just having a slightly deeper squad as well is going to help us massively, I feel like. Jeb Hart can take his man on here. He's into the box. Jeb Hart! What a hit! Oh, that deserved a goal. What a hit that was from Jeb Hart. He could have done... Well, he couldn't have done much more other than, you know, score. I suppose scoring is always good, isn't it? Oh, they've given it to Nangombe. Can he drop it off, maybe? And then make a run. This is better. Bit of space now. Jeb Hart. Nangombe's made a little... Ooh, he's gone for the long ranger. Jeb Hart had... Nangombe had peeled away. See, we'll get more of a foothold on this now. Nangombe... Oh, he doesn't get away with that one, sadly. Oh, a little bit of space out wide now. Now, Bev. Lakshman. Oh, stop it. Ah, silly man. I reckon we could work the ball into the box in the second half. I want to try it. It's the first time we've actually been losing. A oh, no, it's not the first time, is it? We were definitely losing another game, I think, at one point. Right, so what I'm going to do in the second half is switch that to work ball into the box. Because I think we're shooting too much from poorer areas. And I think they can be got at if we just oh, if we just play it a bit more. But I like the early crosses sometimes as well because you've seen what can happen if we can get those balls to the back post to uh, Jeb Hart. He really does seem to flourish in those positions. That we've got a decent amount of possession today as well. He could become the African Regan Booty, particularly given that he's only 16. Now, unfortunately, it'd be very difficult to bring him to another club afterwards, I sense. But nevertheless, we could give it a go. We've played okay here, I think. We're a bit unfortunate to be a goal down. Good Arib. And these guys are again above us in the league. Whips it in. God, surely this can't be the game. The first game that Nangombe doesn't doesn't score in. Oh, Petrus, can he get a good ball in? Jeb Hart over the bar again. How, where have we started? We are in Namibia, Kumbi. At a team called Eleven Arrows. And currently, uh, this we're on for potentially our first defeat since we took over. We've not lost a game yet. Nangombe. Oh, it's poor. It's poor from Ryan Nangombe. It could cost us. We need to win the ball off them here, or at least with the aerial challenge. There we go. Good stuff. And we go again. I do wonder, honestly, if we could get yeah, a Mez or something. Just to have an extra player pushing forward into that middle of the pitch to give us more. Actually, to be fair, it's not too bad. Nangombe. Can he turn creator? He might. Or he might turn scorer himself. Oh, the chance was there, maybe. Now, Beb. I don't think this highlight's done yet. Gurarib. We've got a few bodies waiting for something. That's a bit of a poor one. Yeah, that's not a good effort. Oh, we actually haven't done that yet, Lewis. This might be something we have to do on the next stream. Because I definitely do want to take a look at the surrounding areas and stuff like that. Right, subs. It's just not quite gone our way today, sadly. We'll get Morgan on through the middle. We've got much choice here. Uh, what's our normal change for Gurarib? It's, yeah, it's usually Katangwe. And then... I can't take off Ngombe. That would be blasphemy. Although, I might bring on... The lawyer... And I'm also tempted to get uh, Petrus slightly further forward. And I think he might already be on cross more often. Yeah, he is. Oh, he, <laughs> he won't do it anyway. But he might cross more often. That's what I want. That's what I really want for him. Just getting more balls into the box. You know what? I might put it back on here early crosses. I actually think we've got worse since we switched it off. I think we're quite good from crosses and just causing havoc in their penalty area. 
And I think the problem is when we try to be a bit too clever with it, we're not creating the same high quality of chance. We seem to like, we thrive on chaos here at 11 Arrows and there hasn't been enough chaos in the second half. Uh, yes, it is Goombi. If you type, if you do exclamation mark save file, you'll be able to get the exact file that I'm playing on uh, from the start of today's stream, essentially. Or oh, interceptions. Here we go. Morgan, where's that ball? It's a great ball for Gebhardt. He's just going to go all the way through, isn't he? Don't shoot too early, please. It's a it's a poor effort, if I'm honest. But it was nice to see us at least get the ball forward there. Yeah, it looks like it is going to be our first defeat. Ah, oh, it is. First defeat since we took over. Let's get part. Ball in. Oh, if that had fallen to Nagambe. There it is. 11 arrows nil. Ramblers won. I'd say we're a bit harshly done by in that game. But we literally nullified them for the most of the second period. But just couldn't quite find a breakthrough in the end. Sad times. But it happens. Still going to yell at them, obviously. Got to. Unlucky. We've certainly not played badly, really, in any game so far. And that's a really strong sign. I think I regret taking it off of... Um, hit early crosses in the second half. I, I really do feel like Chaos is our best friend at the moment. Sandberg out. Yeah. Watch the media. God, they're going to have a field day chat. I can't even... I can only imagine what they're going to be like. <laughs> oh, no. In a game without an Angambe goal. Bad times. Dicky Waterfall just wasn't at it. Light was not on our side. Yeah. Just had <laughs> Yeah, their fans... Will... Ramblers will just be... They'll just be rambling. Frost not... Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Hey. Ooh, they've won a game. That's fine. We go again. As long as we achieve, like, our objective for the season, I think we can improve this team a lot in the summer. And yes, I will be sticking with this shape. Why not, eh? It'd be different if we'd come in, right, and lost every game or looked like dog shit in every game. But this is our record since we came in. One defeat in our first six games. Three wins, two draws. Like, at that point, it's definitely good enough to get us started anyway. So I'm more than happy to persist with this for now and sign players accordingly. <laughs> oh, God, what a shape. I can't wait. This might be, even for me, the most batshit thing we've ever done. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Wait. What was the term for the worst? Nothing's changed. What's he all about? Oh, it's just his attitude. Oh, has he got unprofessional, per casual personality? I think he's, uh, yeah. I wonder what his personality was before. Eh, it's not ideal, but it could be worse. Petra's getting another Namibia call up. Okay. I mean, he ain't going to be next here next year anyway, sadly. It's annoying, though, because he is a very good player. What if I can offer him a new contract? No. Ah, oh, Curse is the previous manager, right? He's, he's balls it up massively for us here. Yeah, I can't wait to get... Uh, so next stream, I'm going to have the... I don't know why he's unhappy. I think he wants to leave. Oh, yeah, we'll look at these, won't we? So theirs is still very, very good, but nowhere near as good as ours was. Um... I might still actually just get scout reports on these guys, to be fair. Unless there's any, like, ridiculous uh, players we see. We see. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to get some new emotes sort of for next time, which I will definitely do. We'll get ourselves the no right-backs one. And um, I'll think some more stuff as well. And I'll get the kits in as well, for us, at least. Because I think next time, it's basically going to be finish off season, then transfer window. <laughs> transfer window in the Namibian Premier League, where transfers are definitely a thing you could do. Position report. Okay, that's fine. See you later, Wasa. Right. Osha Kati City. They were the team that we beat earlier. Uh, the beating them in our first game, actually, in the league. I think the reason it's a bit slow extra, by the way, chat, is not because of the game itself. I think it's just because it's so hot in here. My computer is chugging like mad. It's actually nearly dead on 30 degrees. Uh, the temperature thing on the screen is a little bit, like, laggy. So... Oshikati, who... A shopping centre. OK Valley. That is exactly what we're looking for. I can't... We're going to... Oh, by the way, next stream, we're also going to do a tour of the local area. Uh, that definitely feels like something we need to be doing, right? So this is they. Um, obviously, their squad. We don't know anything about them yet. We are scouting them. Or are we? I might scout their senior squad too, actually, while we're at it. We should be able to poach players from relegated sides, though, which is definitely something we need to be doing. We've got a lot of players listed, actually, for zero. Uh, not that we know if they're any good or not. Have they got any really old players, too? They do, don't they? 
Wilbur Campbell. Wait, he's not even Namibian. Wow, he's South African. Fair one. Because you're only allowed up to, what was it, five foreign players in the team. Uh, I'm not really sure what else I can show you about Oshikati City. Maybe you can look at their history. Oh, they've won the... Li oh, no, they haven't. They came second once, though. Got 40 points. Well, they came... Oh, it was with less games. Oh, of course, because the league was folded, wasn't it? So, Life Fighters under 20 side. There's some players in there. We're basically going to have to sort of cobble together a team next season using the remnants of other people's teams, I sense. That and I think a lot of our youth squad are going to get promoted into the first team next season. And I think the exposure they'll get to first team football, we'll see who will thrive on that and who won't. Because you know how players can be sometimes. Like, just giving them first team football at such a young age. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of next season, Ngambe is... Uh, sorry, Ngombe is an absolute legend in the sense that he'll have, like, four-star current ability because he'll be playing so much. So, this really should be a win. But then, we struggled against life fighters, so I'm a little bit... All right. I'm a little bit concerned. He wants to put Zal back in. Is he mad? Yeah, definitely not doing that. We definitely need a DM. Did anyone see a DM in the youth intake? I didn't actually look. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. This could be interesting. Hmm. We're gonna... We are absolutely, aren't we, Andrews? Yeah. I might... Next match only. Still give him an instruction. Oh my god. I hate how you have to be so accurate with the click here in order to stop it from just clicking on the player. I'm going to get him to mark their left back because that's the only way they're going to get forward. And I still think that that might be the not a worst, not the worst idea just to make sure that they don't get... Uh... They are very defensive. And to be fair, if you're bottom of the league with a minus 38 goal difference right now, I can sort of understand their peril. But we should get a decent amount of joy through the wings. No, this feels like we're going to end up losing to them. I just... But hey. If we play well, that's all that matters to me. They'll get used to the, made, the mad system. And the players are starting to get used to my uh, team talks too. It's a good sign. It's our birthday. Oh, it's Eric's birthday. He's going to turn 36 years old. Perfect birthday present. I mean, yeah, but they are also shite. So give them a break, eh? Right, here we go. Probably the last game of the stream. Jelinio Sporting hosting 11 hours. Yeah, I was going to say, we could steal, the, steal a nice DM from uh, Sassuolo. We just need to... Oh, if we get the win here, which would be really good, it'd be nice to finish on a win. And also with a record that we've had since we came in. Uh, I hate that that keeps resetting. Right, okay. Lots of possession so far, which we expected. But it's about trying to find... Here we go. Gurarib. Gurarib with the ball through... And it's in. It's at the back post. Patrice Kayimbi with the early goal. And that is about as perfect a start as we could have asked for here. From a set piece as well, which is good. I think we could definitely make use of that. Look how small their goalkeeper is, by the way. Their goalkeeper looks like he's about five foot eight. I want to check that. I reckon their goalkeeper's like five eight. Six one? Are you having a laugh? How tall is Kayimbe? Ah, okay, 6-5. Fair enough. <laughs> it's just because Kayimbe is really, really big. But that means that set pieces with Kayimbe on the end of them could be absolutely ruthless in this league. Just aiming that ball at the near post and getting Kayimbe to win the flick-ons. Oh, Jephart straight in the box. Pulls it back for Laxman. Ooh, what an effort. I'll have some set pieces sorted for the next stream as well, both defensively and attacking. Yeah, Kayimbe is absolutely brilliant. And I'm really looking forward to see what we can do with him in that position. Oh, a six foot five centre back in a league like this could absolutely dominate, where teams are much less picky about, you know, physical presence in those areas. Oh, here we go again. Can KMB get to the end of this one as well? It's in. KMB's header, and it's safe. Oh, no, no, it's not safe. Patrice KMB makes it 2 0. <laughs> they have a slight weakness, and it would appear to be free kicks. Jelinio nil, 11 arrows, two. And KMB has now scored his second goal of the game. Particularly, I mean, look at the guy they matched him up against. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't see. Uh,. You'll see in a minute. It's it's a bit of a height mismatch. In off the crossbar. 2-0. Yeah, there's another MacGyver. Lloyd MacGyver as well. Right, good start. 2-0 up. Cruising. I want to finish with a positive goal difference. That would be a really good side. Uh, a good sign for me is if we could finish with a positive key, uh, goal difference. Nangombe. He needs a goal today, I think. Nangombe's in. Can he score? Oh, just wide. Good chance. 
What team did we get? We got 11 arrows of the Namibian Premier Division, Owen. And um, incredibly, we've only lost once since we took over. <laughs> Which might not sound ridiculous, but if you saw the system. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's very, yeah, we big fans already. Oh, shit. Hang on. Is he broken through there? It's right in Fredericks. They cut me. <laughs> I have no idea. It's fun as hell, though. And I'm guessing because regens will have that name as well, because it'll be in the database. So you'll actually see other regens coming through called Manchester United as a result of that, because that's how it chooses names for the players. It goes through the name pool. Oh, Jephart. Oh, my God. What a goal. Ismail Gephardt makes it 3-0. Uh, what? Um, okay, I'll start with why. So the why is we literally had no right backs at the club at all. Um... So we thought, you know what? Let's see if we can build a system that doesn't have a right back. So then we made a random system and we've literally lost one game since we started playing it. <laughs> it's actually mental. Like there is a strategy involved, obviously. So we have a defensive winger on the right hand side that is set to man mark anybody that's on that right hand side. And essentially, if he does his job correctly, which he basically has so far, it means that they get no joy on that wing anyway, even with the overloads. It's uh, It's nuts. Not only that, but the guy that plays out there has turned into an assist machine. I think he's got five assists since he started playing as a defensive winger on defend. Ah, the weirdest things you just don't expect to work. But it is 3-0 coming up to halftime here. I want Nangombe to grab himself a goal, but get part by get in there. <laughs> Nearly another chance for the 11 arrows. We are hammering them. I know the bottom of the league, but still. <laughs> we thought about it, Owen. <laughs> We genuinely talked about it. <laughs> but for now, I'll settle for right backless. There will be no right backs allowed. <laughs> I'm gonna train the uh youth intake right back that we got as a defensive winger. Don't have any, don't want any right backs around here. We don't like your sort. <laughs> oh, if we could score a couple more in the second half, that'd be lovely. Just boost the goal difference a bit. Right, Gephardt's driving all the way in field here. He's gotta use the Oh, okay, that was poor from him. Inverted left side. Uh it was a very good intake. We got a goalkeeper who's basically going to be our starting keeper next year, but we can't register the players yet. Basically, it was all five-star players except for one guy who was four-star. And the um, the goalkeeper that came through was three-star current ability as well. But that's kind of to be expected in this league. Uh, Gephardt, ball in. Then Gambe, can he switch it to someone maybe? Gephardt! Oh, the near post. We got a knock here. Who's on a knock? Is it good or not? Looks like a tight calf. You know what? I'm happy to do that in a game like this because we're already three goals to the good. No sense in keeping an injured player on the pitch right now. And screw it. We'll do that as well. Nangombe. He's on a goal drought. <laughs> You're probably not wrong. We should actually look at that when they've signed them up. Lovo. Go on. Let's get that fourth goal. Hatchick of assist for Gurarab. Oh. Ooh. Go on. Get to it. Yes. Hoover that ball up. Oh, it's brilliant. I my car. But I love that our fullback and our defensive winger are essentially operating in the exact same positions. It's, yeah. Sloking, thank you for the follow, man. So they're essentially playing the same role. They're just kind of not at the same time. Gurarab's just got more functionality to his play. So he'll go further forward for us if we need him to. Yeah, <laughs> we don't like your right backs around these parts. This is a right back free zone, sir. It's like no smoking. That uh, looks a bit offside, actually, but the goalkeeper's coming out to it. Oh, he's done poorly there, and it's offside anyway. Get in. Wow, that's mental, Owen. What league? Uh, is, in, is that towards the start or, like, current day kind of thing? Oh, that is... I mean, you know it's tight when the line is completely going mad. Hey, they've got their own Petrus. Over the bar. Get wrecked, Jolino Sport. They've not been awful today. But still not very good. Right, what else we got? What? What? Can we? We can make five subs actually, can't we? I just haven't been. Uh, I might get Gelpart off for more, uh, for Morgan, and that'll probably do it. Probably not going to keep it when we move on. Maybe depends. Depends if we rock up in like the Senegalese top flight and find they've got no bloody uh, <laughs> no stripe, no right backs. No, not unbeaten, Salah. We have finally lost a game. We lost a bit of an unlucky one at home against Ramblers, uh, but we're bouncing back with a three 0 away victory. <laughs> Three to oh, that sucks, yeah. I hate that. When you get an amazing looking player and you're just sat there like he's never going to reach this potential. No matter what you do, even if you like go hard on the mentoring, like you'll get a bit more out of him, but it, it does suck. 
But I guess that's football, isn't it, really? Morgan out on the left. Go on, get a fourth goal. Kill this off. I want to see Nangamba get a goal. Here he comes. Chance for him. Oh, no, over the bar. Oh, useless. Get six goals in his first four games. No, was it eight goals in his first five games? And now he can't score to save his life. Useless. Uh-oh. Right, that's going to be doing it, right? 3-0 victory away from home and a clean sheet. So, what was that? Seven games in charge, one defeat. You can't really go wrong with that. I think... I wonder what our PPG has been like since we've taken over. So as to where it would put us potentially. And Nagambe couldn't quite get to the end of it that time either. But we will mop this one up again and hopefully finish off. Hey, true man. He's the new Amir Zaki. Oh, wait. He'll get his move to Spurs or Middlesbrough or... Was it Wigan Amir Zaki played for? I forget. Oh, goalkeeper. I know you're slow. He is very slow. Like sending the mob to his house. <laughs> we actually just got um at one of those exact events. Ah, so yeah, uh, game's just crashed and we've just lost all of that. Nope. Uh, well, we did save at one point. Uh, so what happened was Streamlabs had a memory leak. Streamlabs had a memory leak. So it wasn't FM, it was Streamlabs. Uh, I'm going to just check when our last save point was. Oh, local disk drive. What the hell's going on here? Let me just check. I'm just looking inside... Um, here, our last save point was two o'clock. So we've lost an hour of uh, the save. It, it's not as bad as it could have been, honestly. Because I have been saving a bit more often. So yeah, it, don't worry, it wasn't FM. It wasn't the database. Streamlabs had a data, uh, had a memory leak. Because basically I got a pop-up saying, so let me just switch to full, full face cam here. Because obviously we're finishing the stream now anyway. But like, so I got a, um, I got a pop-up basically saying, um, uh, memory leak or not memory leak but like too much memory was being used basically and then I looked over to um, Streamlabs and Streamlabs was using 8 gigabytes of RAM why not after games because it takes up time um, yeah no I'll what I'll do is I'll just play the games again and whatever happens happens basically even if we lose them you know uh, it's not a big deal I don't think we'll have lost too many in that period maybe 3 4 at most oh dear do we really? Oh god, we might lose the youth intake. Shit happens. But that wasn't to do with the game or the database. That was Streamlabs, sadly. Oh, instant result. Yeah, no. Um, I'll probably just play them. So, yeah. Oh, are we getting raided right now? This is the worst possible time as we were just about to head off, friends. But, no worries. Raiders, stick around and we'll head you over to someone else. I'm so sorry about that, chat. That was not what I was hoping to have happen there, unfortunately. Uh, oh, you're right, it is, isn't it? So hopefully it's the same youth intake and everything's good. Yeah, that's unfortunate, um, but that wasn't the actual save itself. The uh, FM that was causing the problem, it was Streamlabs, which is annoying. Um, yeah, but it caused Streamlabs to crash as well as FM. It's uh, certainly something I'm going to have to pay attention to as well. But there we go. So I'm going to just quickly nip over to Twitch itself and uh, see who we've got streaming at this moment. Oh, oh actually, I know what I was going to do. I was going to read Limo because he's doing a... Um, 24 hour stream and that shit's hard man so we're gonna raid him sorry about the end of that chat i will hopefully get that sorted out for the next stream well we'll just get i'll just you know we'll get back to it it's not too much time really um but we will probably for the remainder of the uh i will have an auto save after every game next stream um because we had i, I don't want that to happen again just in case it, I don't think it could be caused by FM. I mean, it can't be because it was stream. Even when FM crashed, Streamlabs was still using like eight gigabytes of RAM. So, and it shouldn't be. Obviously, it was using ninety six percent. No, I have sixteen gigs, but whatever. I will see you guys. Hang on, let me set the raid up first. We're gonna go raid Limo. So, hope you guys will stick around and give him a uh, lovely little view here because it's it's gonna be good. So, thank you so much for coming to this first ever African adventure stream. I hope you've had a good time today. I bloody have. It's been absolutely incredible. It could have been gone ready, but then Streamlabs shouldn't have been using eight gigabytes of RAM. That's not how it works. So the fact that it was using so much suggests to me that it was a bit of both, perhaps. But we'll definitely keep an eye on it. Um, FM, FM does have memory leak problems, in fairness. That can happen. So we'll have to see. Anyway, I will see you guys tonight for an analysis video over on the YouTubes. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a transfer window. And I'll see you on Tuesday for the, uh, the second episode of this madness. So hopefully, 
we won't have any problems with that. But if we do, we won't lose anything. And that's the key thing. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye. Let's go raid Limu. Limu? Limu.